That seems like a good time to get things started. <laughs> ah, evening, evening, everybody. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, it's good to not be quick in everything, but uh, <laughs> as Ben gives me a head, head pat. But uh, yes, evening, evening, everybody. The last 20 minutes have been an interesting trial as I try to get Persona 5 Tactica to agree with my computer. <laughs> but I think I have it stable, so or at least stable enough. Just means if I have to look up anything, I'm going to use my phone because this thing... It's interesting. It's an interesting, like whoever designed the port to PC never factored for more than one monitor. So when you try to change video settings, like from full screen to borderless, it jumps to monitors. <laughs> and it jumps to neither of the monitors that are designated as monitor one for me. <laughs> monitor one's the one on my, my vertical one on the left. <laughs> jumps from three to two. <laughs> oh my gods. This thing is going to be the death of me. <laughs> but, yeah, we are also jumping genres on top of it trying to jump monitors. Um, so those of you that don't know, and I, I kind of had a guess that that's what Persona 5 Tactica was going to be. But yeah, the Persona 5 games, we were jumping over every genre. Like, again, we're not going to play the dancing game. Um, I can't remember what those ones are called. I know there's two of them, but we're not going to play those, unfortunately. Uh, but we're at least going to do Tactica here. I doubt we'll do Phantom X because I doubt it's going to come onto PC and I don't even want to try to do a video like transfer all system from phone to PC. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I could use something like Bluestacks, but yeah this will probably be the last persona 5 game at least unless we go back and like redo a story or something but yeah <laughs> tactica tactic is interesting all oh, right there's only one persona 5 dancing game the one has the other one has three and four in it i guess yeah there's also another game or another game that contains persona 5 stuff which is persona q2 but again we're not going to get to that because i'm pretty sure that's also ds and i don't have the conversion systems to do it and i don't want to try <laughs> yeah dancing all night and then yeah but yeah so tactica though is unlike the mob fighting um action adventure we just finished with strikers or the jrpg of um of classic this is uh, a tactical so this is like a top-down tactical i believe um this is foreign fucking territory for me because i am i am dog shit at uh at uh tactical games like this um the fact i even got through pokemon conquest and beat it is nothing short of a miracle <laughs> so i'm guessing this is uh Oh, this is going to be painful. I'm probably going to put it on easy just because um, I don't want to get too frustrated. I want to go to the story and enjoy it. And again, it's I'm not a good gamer. I have never claimed to be like, don't get me wrong. There are certain games where I seem pretty darn good, but I'm not a good gamer overall. Oh, it was Three Hopes action adventure. Interesting. Also, hi, Cinder. Hi, Serana. <laughs> As well as Anura and Aurora and everybody. But yeah, so for this, uh, also the style is going to be drastically different. So where Persona 5 Strikers and Royal both were, you know, semi-realistic anime style. Uh, <laughs> Tactica's chibi. <laughs> Tactica is like a weird form of chibi because it still tries to keep like Atlas's lankiness that they like to do for their characters but then they cheapify it at the same time it is the weirdest mix um oh weird i'm i'm i would try three hopes then because i do like action adventure quite a bit love muso and beat em ups but yeah so this this one's gonna be interesting uh i have the game already opened because as i was saying the this game is so finicky it tries to jump to one monitor when it first launches and then it goes to the monitor that it that it's going to stay with so like two monitors black out and then one lights up with it whichever one was the second one to go black is the one that it's going to go to in this game 
<laughs> this game is designed for consoles and it really hates multi-monitor computers. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, I played like a tiny bit of Three Houses, but then like when I started getting into fights where, you know, deaths actually meant something, everybody just started dying. <laughs> I was so bad at it. Oh my god. Again, that... <laughs> Again, if I ever played... <laughs> oh, I'll sit up. I'll sit up for the streams. But, um, yeah, if, if I ever go back and try to play Three Houses at this point, yeah, I'm gonna put on the easiest difficulty and just be like, you know, characters can never die, can never get injured. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> but yes, anyway, let's hop on over so we can actually start doing the music and we can watch the intro for this one. So. Yeah, and I'm blocking the loading screen, unfortunately. Yeah, obviously seizure warning, but again, that's that's most Atlas games in general. I like the guitar already. Oh my god, it is still the same singer. Lavenza. She's back. Oh, Gundam Breakers 4. Yeah, it is good. I, I need to get back to playing it myself. But yeah, so this is the style that Tactica will be doing. Again, it's it's kind of like a half chibi, and it's it's interesting. It's very stylized. Uh, also, plus side for all of us. Well, plus and downside. So, plus side. Violet is in this game. That is a DLC packet, and I made sure to get it. Downside, Violet also comes with Crow. Uh. <laughs> so we, we, we get to have access to both Akechi and uh, Surime. So we get best girl back, but unfortunately that means that we get worst boy. Oh, the intro does loop. Okay, that's, that's good for me to know for next time. Because, yeah, if this thing acts up, I can, I can fix it. <laughs> But yes, let's let's start up a new game. Yeah, I'm unsure of my skill, but I don't know if uh, if I want to jump down to save. We'll start on easy, and if it starts getting too frustrating, we'll. We'll jump back to... We'll jump down to save. Yeah, you can't win them all, but at least we get violence. Oh, is that what it is?
Oh, it's a shame we didn't have Igor saying that. I guess we didn't have the first strikers either. Mine is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. We got Lavenza back, which is weird because I remember watching a couple people play Tactica, and I don't remember Lavenza being there. It's no surprise that his disappearance has rocked the political world. Whether it's due to illness, an accident, or something worse, all we know so far is that rumors are spreading fast. If I may ask, how much longer do you think you can keep a handle on this? I was assured I'd be fine, but the flies have already started buzzing around me. Oh boy, we're starting off nice and dark. <laughs> There's nothing for you to worry about. This will all be over soon enough. Oh cool, their silhouettes actually move for talking. They'd have to defy us to stop us, and we both know that won't happen. Hmm. <laughs> That's certainly true. With that off my mind, I trust matters on your own end are proceeding smoothly. Indeed, the agreement's going exactly as arranged. All our dreams will be within our reach soon enough. We merely need to hold out for a bit longer. Yes, it will truly be a dream when that day comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, evil conspiring. <laughs> They're not hiding it either, that's worrisome. <gasps> it's winter time! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, they're so cute. I I kind of like this pseudo chibi design. <laughs> A chaos and evil, <laughs> but rebellion and good. <laughs> oh, I love how Futaba looks. She looks <laughs> so cute and silly. Still got that out? He's fixing some coffee for you. Oh, I'm saved. I was worried we weren't gonna make it for a bit there. I mean, just look at Mona. Oh, is, so is, is this taking place the winter? I guess that would make sense, because even at the end of Persona 5 Strikers, that was something they said of, like, hopefully Run comes by to visit during winter vacation, which is about three week, two, three weeks around Christmas time. So, oh, that's what we must be doing here. Also, this version of uh, Take Off My Mask. Oh, I like that use of guitar. It's like, it's almost Spanish style. Like Spanish steel string. It sounds a little cleaner than steel string at least, but it is definitely more like Spanish tuning. I know just enough about guitars to get myself into trouble, uh, <laughs> which is saying something considering the instrument I actually know how to play. <laughs> oh, he's all curled up in a ball. Don't you just love it when cats do that? I'm not a cat. <laughs> okay, this game I think is going to be a little more. I feel my HP coming back. I already feel like this game is going to probably be a little more toned down, so Ryuji's probably not going to swear as much, which is a shame, because I'm, I'm okay with Ryuji swearing. It's fine. Hey, stupid G. Yeah. <laughs> yes, if you don't mind. <laughs> Okay, yeah, like, even Matt's portrayal of Yusuke is now a little more cartoonish. Like, just even that line already, it's like, okay, yeah, everybody's gonna be a little more cartoony to kind of match with the style, which is interesting. It's also great that they, they can get the cast back for this time and time again, because, again, that's a that's a big thing. I wasn't talking to you, and you already ate some. I'll take a little warm milk. And make sure it's from the cheap stock. You can save that cheap stuff you bought for your cooking. Oh, come on. Just how badly have we spoiled you, Mona? <laughs> <laughs> I've got some over here for you. Oh, yeah, I'm loving I'm loving the characters' designs though. Like, I was worried about the style change. I really was, because again, it's it's such a departure from five royal and five strikers. But I don't know, I 
it kind of fits. It it goes pretty well, and again, like even restyling everything, like even updating Leblon in the style. That's also really cute. Like that that's a nice attention to detail. They they could have easily just done like you know screenshot backshot like backdrops of um, stuff. Not backshots. That's different. <laughs> that's something I want. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a little SD style. Again, as I said, this is kind of pseudo chibi, but again they're they're still keeping even chibi models more lanky, which is something that is very Atlas. Atlas has you know, all their characters are surprisingly lanky and skinny a lot of times, if you compare them to other games. Um and yeah, they're even still emulating that in the more cheapified style here. I wouldn't say this is full um SD or super deformed style. But it's it's a weird halfway point. <laughs> what? It's cold out. Everybody wants to stay inside, not just the shut-ins. <laughs> Listen, I almost said back shot instead of back drop, so I was like, I have to crack myself, but I also point it out. <laughs> so you spent half the morning grumbling that he won't get any customers today. At first I was happy we had the place to ourselves, but now I feel kind of bad. No, oh, that's cute too. <laughs> Spray bottle won't stop me. <laughs> well, we should enjoy what time we have together while we can. All too soon, the third years will graduate, and you'll be returning to your hometown, correct? With that in mind, even our most mundane moments together feel precious in a way. Okay, yeah, so this is. Yeah, when in the timeline does this take place? Because it would not be, um... It would not be... During Classic Persona 5. Because that was around Christmas itself. Like, literally the fight against the God of Control was Christmas Eve. So... And he's going back to his hometown, so yeah. Because I think even in Persona 5 Classic... He doesn't get out of jail until, like, March 14th. So, yeah, th this must be the fall of... Or the winter of 2017. So this take this does take place after Strikers. Strikers was August of, of 2017, where Persona 5 was predominantly 2016, except for January. <laughs> yes, at least I'll be wet either way. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to exactly pin down where this game is. Yeah, if it's winter time, yet yeah, this must be winter of 2017. Right, and it's not like we're bad at keeping in touch. We might end up a little farther away, but we'll still visit each other. Oh, yeah. So everybody but Futaba should be graduating. Unless Yusuke is... Oh god, right. Yusuke is a second year now, isn't he? He's not actually... He's not actually a third year. He was the same grade as Futaba. He just... I think... I think he's supposed to be a little younger. Of course. Even when we're in college, I'll still find time to come see you all. Yeah, okay, that's weird, because she's talking about... Even when in college, but she's already in college. God damn it, Ryuji. Okay, he's not changed that much. <laughs> uh, never learn, Ryuji. Perhaps that's the opportunity I've been waiting for. I believe I've designed the perfect swimsuit. Uh-oh. It's eco-friendly, allowing me to enjoy the beach with the minimum amount of fabric needed. Please stop making me picture that. Oh, sorry if I set that conversation off track. Oh, it's okay, Aru. Lot to look forward to after graduation. Okay, yeah, no, this is this is the winter of 2017 then for sure. Cause that means that An, Ryuji, and Ren will all be graduating high school. Sorry, theory and crafting so God, is this in timeline? Sure do. 
And why not enjoy the time we have now, too? Hit me with another soda. Uh, oh, brother. You're the one who could use some self-restraint. And now, our report on Toshiro Kasakabe. The authorities' investigation into the Diet member's apparent disappearance continues. Considered by many to be a strong candidate for Prime Minister, where could he have gone with the election so close? A fair contingent of voters look to him as the fresh new face of national politics, so his absence is concerning. Also, let me know if the game's too quiet. I can bump it up by another, looks like about 10%, ideally, but, yeah. Yes. Kasakabe entered the Diet, his support from the public has only grown. It's no surprise that his disappearance has rocked the political world. Whether it's due to illness, an accident, or something worse, all we know so far is that rumors are spreading fast. Man, and that's going crazy about him too. There are at least half a dozen conspiracies at this point. And they've been covering him quite a bit on television lately. Lots of future Prime Minister speculation. Someone like that suddenly disappearing. I really hope there isn't more trouble brewing. <laughs> oh no. She's already pointed out. Actually, you know what this this kind of half chibi style reminds me of? This reminds me of the Scott Pilgrim cartoon that came out a year or two ago. Kind of a similar kind of in between. Haven't we been through enough? Do we seriously have to go through some DLC too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, little do you know Futaba. I don't know anything about the guy, but maybe he's just dealing with some family stuff. As the investigation continues, hmm? what the? Uh, what's wrong with the TV? Uh oh. Hey, why is the TV acting up? Oh god. Six soup. Six soup. Six, six, huh? Six, six, six. The hell? What happened to the TV? Hmm. The remote stopped working. Huh? <laughs> oh no, LeBlanc! It's floating. No, it's frozen in place. Uh oh. I think I see the DLC reasoning for. Hey, uh, why is it so quiet outside? I'm not sure. But it's completely dark at us well. This eerie sensation. I hesitate to say it, but could we have entered the metaverse? Not again. <laughs> it can't be. I mean, there's no way. It was. Yeah. And the meta nav should be gone entirely. Not only that, I still look the same. And so do you. And what the hell's going on? Yeah, it's still too dark to see out there. Shit. I've got a bad feeling. Okay, no good. They are letting Ryushi swear more. I thought they were gonna let it up. But no, he's still he's still cussing a lot. Good. Good. <laughs> hey, look. a mysterious symbol hovering in the light. It's glowing! This is just Sojiro pulling our leg! Oh, please tell me I'm right! Well, I, I guess all we can do is open it. True. It's not like there's another exit here. Okay, try the door, but be careful. We'll be right behind you. Watch, we're gonna get caught by Lavenza. Or is she gonna split again? I hope she doesn't. Because she talks about how traumatic that was. Don't get me wrong, Karen and Justine were cool, but Levin's. Oh. 
There we go. What, where the hell are we? We were just in LeBlanc, right? This has to be bad. Oh, we're in our Phantom Thief outfits. Huh? dear here let me all right i'm going to lose sound for just a second as i do this <laughs> there we go oh, yes how are you doing dear <laughs> also hello everybody um if you're new to my content hi and hello my name is Miss Marakar. I'm a Witchy Puka Bunny VTuber and a variety gaming VTuber. And tonight we are actually starting yet another in our gauntlet of uh, Persona 5 games. I believe, actually, the more I, I watch this game, the more I think this is in the timeline. I think this is the last one that's tied to the timeline. Um, we are playing Persona 5 Tactica, which is, as you can tell, quite stylistically different than the other two. <laughs> But yes, thank you so much, Othello. If, if you've got a raid and run or rest or something, please don't hesitate to do so. Again, rest is important. Uh, of course, an advert kicks in. <laughs> Ugh, I swear that timer. We're going to pause anyway for adverts. I have it back on automatic because I'm so bad at um, stopping it. <laughs> Or doing them in general. I'm bad at ads, okay, guys? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I, I do like their style now and like the drawn style. Like Morgana. Morgana already would fit this style beautifully. Because, yeah, he already looked like a cartoon. <laughs> but yeah, he, he fits all the better here. Um, yeah, Yusuke looks surprisingly good. Ren does too. And I'm excited to see the others drawn in as well. Okay. I was also just checking something real quick involving the DLC for this to see when I get get violent. <laughs> okay. There we go. The adverts are also gone. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. I made sure to pause for everything. But yeah, we we literally just started um Persona 5 Tactica, so this will this will be a fun game. <laughs> Aww. Oh, roar. No. <laughs> Hangovers are the worst. Hey. Also, there's DLC personas, and I will likely switch to one of the DLC personas to kind of harken back to what I did in Royal of taking on a, a DLC persona that is technically Arsene's evolved form. Raul. Unless somehow Sataniel's present. Let's get the final form of, of Arsene, uh, Arsene Raul Lupon. Oh. Yeah. 
Interesting. This is gonna be interesting. It's not Snap Grid. I was really hoping for Snap Grid. Uh, yeah, Snap Grid for tactical um, games where um, when you move cursor or move directionals, that uh, it it'll push to the next square instead of just doing this smooth movement in here like don't get me wrong that smooth movement is pretty nice but yeah yeah it's different it's interesting Right, that rotates. Tickle. What to do here? Okay. I know I'm on easy, but that's well that was the tutorial, so we'll see we'll see how the rest goes. Yeah, because I'm not using a D-pad here. Um, okay. Well, I'm not going to try to be perfectionistic, perfectionistic in this game. Same goes for where we are now. We found the rebels! Honey! 
Oh dear. Where are these guys born out from? Joker, use your persona. Take them out. One fell swoop. Okay. So personas are like super powered here. I'm actually really liking the style of this. It's actually so fucking cute. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm I'm allowed to walk anywhere in in my range area. Okay, I'm starting to see it. Ooh, despair. Even our sense kind of cute. I'm I'm excited to see how Raul and um, oh god, what was. There we go. Oh. I like that. Um, I'm still up for possibly doing it again. It probably won't be too frequent. It'll probably be every other week or so if I do it even that consistently, consistently or like twice a month. It would probably be earlier in the day, um, so that way then I could, like, you know, eat and do stuff that way. Um, gods. Yeah, I, it's... I'm still trying to figure it out. I, I really should sit down with, like, Talon and have her help me with any details for it, because... Ugh. I know I have, I have some stuff coming up until... Let's see... Yeah, I have some stuff to do up on October 5th, so it probably won't be for a couple of weeks, and then um, between November and January, um, we can definitely get some things hashed out and put together. Yeah, I'm, I'm still up for doing Community Movie Night. I just need to, I need to figure out how to do it in a, in a healthy and good way. Good thing we wrapped that up. I'm kind of bored now. Oracle, how are the rest doing? They're just wrapping up now. Okay, at least that's a relief. Huh? You that? Oh, it's getting closer. Marie, Marie Antoinette. Oh, we already have that. That's that's Lady. Marie. Okay. Okay, they're saying a Japanese style. So. <laughs> Fair. Mind end up doing that Sunday afternoons. Because, yeah, I don't have anything to do until D&D. That gives my Tuesday or Thursday off still. But again, I'll, I'll hash it out with, with Talon. Since she, she kind of helps me with things. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, well. Who's the ruler of this land? <laughs> and having your lives in my hand? <laughs> oh my. That's right. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to join me for the rest of your life. 
Oh, is this Jesse's voice actor? Voice actress? It might be. Oh, rest in peace to her. She recently passed. Yes. Oh, bad news. I've got readings coming at us from all directions. No! We're trapped? We can't even fight at full power. At this rate... We are the servants of the Inorians! You grant us our power, and we obey! Ugh, there's just too many. Guys, run! Eat this! <laughs> Rusty, are we? Let's do this thing. Whoa! Thanks for the assist, Skull. It's almost like there's no end to them. We're getting nowhere at this rate. This is not looking good. Joker, go ahead and lend him a hand. We've got it over here. Skull, behind you. Huh? Well, shit. Joker! Monachan! We barely managed to hold them off so far, and now... And now you're all nice and grouped together for me. This is the last of you, all right. Whoa! That guy's massive! Skull! Hang on! We're coming! Wait! Stay with the group! <laughs> At least one of you is smart. One more wrong move. Uh, did you just issue me an order? Do you not know how things work around here? Joker, just take her out! Don't worry about me! Oh my... These mannerless little brats. Everything to make me sick. Mm -hmm. In case, I've got just the thing for you. God damn it! What is you... <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. I'll show you soon enough. And then you'll never dare to give me a lip again. Uh-oh. What is she doing to them? What are you doing to my friends? Leave them be. Damn it, get your mitts off me. <sighs> you may be crude, but you have quite an interesting power, don't you? Yeah. Hmm. Quite a mouth on you. Care to see what I can do with mine? Mm. Oh, that's a fucking problem. Dear. Fuck. She can turn my friends against me. This is terrible. Is he really going to attack us? We can't fight back. We don't want to hurt him. Fuck.
Oh. Let's get this over with, shall we? Not over yet. What to do here? It's over. Take out an enemy. Not going. Ready. Interesting. I could definitely see a perfectionist having some issues with this game. Like me when I was younger. <laughs> I used to be a lot more perfectionistic. These days I care just about the story. Rebels, your time is up. I'm going to squash you for Lady Marie. Skull, you need to snap out of it. It's no good. We can't get through to him. No. Oh. Just how strong is her mind control? <laughs> it appears my kiss of love works on you brats as well as anyone else. As for the rest of you, you're scurrying around is real tiresome. But I'll put a stop to that. I'm going to make you all mine. No! Look out! Everyone, get away! Mm, boy. What happened? <sighs> we are. We are the servants of Lady Marie. Shit. She grants us our power and we obey. We shall fulfill Lady Marie's every last wish. Oh no! She got everyone but us! Woo! Go, Lady Marie! I'm gonna fucking kill her. <laughs> really? Things aren't you. How awful. Who do you think you are to refuse me? How dare you dodge my kiss? Fine. We can just take a different approach. What's the color? I can't get it off! Well, are we ready to go for a little Oh god, she's gonna kill all- or she's gonna reef drag us, isn't she? Now, let's get ready for the ceremony! It's showtime! I already hate her. <laughs> <laughs> marvelous, simply marvelous. And how perfectly fitting for you two despicable rats to end up on all fours. <laughs> well, have you learned your place? Do your wounds hurt? Is this torture for you? Maybe if you lick my heel, I'll consider easing up a bit. The audacity! You've lost your comrades, been dragged to bits, and yet you still have this gleam in your eye. You really, really, really don't get it, do you? This is my kingdom! I rule over you! Both of you should be grumbling and singing my praises! Kingdom. It appears 
appears you've chosen the most painful route. Perhaps with enough torture, you'll learn to serve me. Mm, boy. Listen, lady, you can just be a dominatrix and get paid. Come on. Well, look at you. Care to introduce yourself, party crasher? Oh, I love her design. And I am the one who will see you overthrown! I like her voice too. Arena? Just who is this? It's the description. It's her! She's the leader of the filthy rebels making a mockery of our great lady Mari! We know you've been skulking around in the shadows. So. Damn it. It's at least a clever way to, you know, clear the group when, like, with strikers where you just pretty much got to have everyone after a short while. Arena. Let's go. Hey, wait. What if. Ah. Okay, that's actually pretty clever. Thank you. 
excellent position if you ask me. This is gonna hurt. Enemy destroyed. Check out my power. Not over yet. You got to save over yet. Nice to be. Not a chance. You're completely safe there. Nice to be. All right. Our destination is still quite far away. Make sure to pace yourself. <laughs> Oh wow, that hit both of them. Oh, that's phenomenal. Oh, oh, oh this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Get away, filthy rebels. Lady Marie demands your presence. This is terrible. Oh, guys, please step out of it. Danger. It's no use. Ignore them, both of you. Our only objective is reaching that alley. Let's get this over with, shall we? Shall we begin? Hmm. Let's see. This is very interesting. It's very different. I think we've managed to shake them. I've sealed off the secret passage so they won't be following us. Yeah, we can't thank you enough. We'd be in serious trouble without you. Don't mention it. We appear to share a common enemy. After all, it didn't look like either of you were going to back down without my intervening. Marie is immensely powerful. Not only that, her forces are great. We'd never be able to defeat her head on. I see. Sounds like you have a history with her. Please don't take this the wrong way, but who are you? And what is this place? I'm Marina, the Rebel Corps leader. And who are you two? I must admit, I still can't believe you took down those Legionnaires. Hmm. Hey. Your name's Joker, right? Why didn't you ever surrender? You took a serious beating back there. But no matter how much Marie hurt you, you never seemed to actually fear her. 
His sense of rebellion is strong. Uh, all the time? Well, it certainly sounds like you're no stranger to dire circumstances. <laughs> Listen, for him, the last two years have been a fucking trip. <laughs> Standing up to Marie? Or are you actually just her pawns trying to entrap me? If it's the latter, then speak up now so I can wrap this up quickly. What? When did this become an interrogation? Take it easy there. You saw what happened back there. She took our friends and made them her slave. At the very least, we've got some people to rescue and some payback to dish out. <sighs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'll sit up, I'll sit up, fuck. Apologies for that. Marie is very crafty. She's able to brainwash people into doing anything. This even includes behaving the way that you two have been. So, do you believe we're not brainwashed now? Yes, I believe you two are being sincere. Marie has no tolerance for opposition. She'll hunt you to the end of the world if she has to. If you're looking to lay low, why not come to the Rebel Corps hideout with me? Mm hmm It certainly doesn't look the part, but we plan all our operations there. Mm hmm <laughs> I imagine it's safer for us there than out here in the street. Joker, let's go with Arena and see what her hideout's like. Considering how we have no idea what's going on, I think we just have to trust her. Plus... Anyone who'd put their life on the line to rescue us must be pretty decent, right? Thank you. You won't regret it. Shall we go, Joker? And you, uh... My name's Morgana, but call me Mona when we're out in the open. Got it, Mona. Allow me to show you the way. Goddamn, are we gonna save all our friends, though? Sons of bitches. Th that's... The blonde? Well made it sound a bit too grand. It's really just a regular restaurant. Yeah, it sure looks like it. What's the chief shop doing here? Hmm? You two notice something strange? Say, Arena, how long has that building been there? Uh, how long it's been? As far as I know, the cafe's always been here. We've always used it as our hideout. This is just getting weird. They look way too similar to be a coincidence. When we first crossed over into the metaverse, we were originally inside LeBlanc. Maybe this is our own cognitive version of LeBlanc? No, couldn't be. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but we can discuss it inside. Come on, you two stick out like sore thumbs around here. Let's go. Yeah, we need to see this place for ourselves. Let's go, Joker. <laughs> This is so intriguing. And yeah, like a great premise for resetting. Look at this. I can't believe it. Even the interior is a perfect copy of LeBlanc. Isn't it kind of funky? That's what I like about this place, though. Uh, let me grab you some drinks. It'll just be a sec. Wait, what? Wha when did you get changed? And your mask is gone, too. But... I didn't transform when we came in. At least since your outfit reverted back, that means this place really is safe for us. What on earth? You two certainly talk strangely. I've lived here for as long as I can remember, but I've never met people like you before. Well, people. Oh, come on! You're really gonna get hung up on that now? Yeah, so we are definitely in a cognitive space. <laughs> The two of you are in trouble? Depending on your situation, I might be able to lend you a hand. That's awfully generous, considering how much you've already helped. And we definitely need to know more about this place. Arena, was it? For starters, could you tell us more about yourself? And this world? <sighs> I see. Please, have a seat. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
So you and your friends are from another world? I have to admit, that's rather hard to grasp. This world's the only one I've ever known. On top of that, you're also telling me you're thieves who steal hearts. And you just stumbled into this world? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. That's Believe not. me, we're in the same boat here. All of a sudden, we were surrounded by Marie's forces, and you had to rescue us. We really have no idea what's going on. I love his little dejected face. Just a little... <laughs> oh, he looks so well, sad. We can try to hash it out later. Uh, Morgana and you. His stance is also really funny, though. I know I'm blocking it somewhat with my titties, but... I suppose it's my turn to answer questions. Feel free to ask away. She's a ruthless tyrant who fancies herself the ruler of these parts. This used to be a peaceful place, <laughs> free of any sort of conflict. I can only shake them a little bit, but we'll see how two point out goes. Looks like I'm going to be a little more jiggly there, but we'll see. <laughs> then Marie appeared, and everything changed. She declared that the entire city and all its citizens were now her property. With her invincible soldiers leading the way, she quickly seized full control. Invincible soldiers? You mean those guys who attacked us? Yes. We've taken to calling them legionnaires. I'm sure you saw for yourselves. Not only are they incredibly strong, but all we can do is knock them out. They're always back on their feet all too soon. No matter the tactics we try, they're seemingly invincible. Maybe they're shadows of some kind. Only personas can put down a shadow. No wonder you didn't stand a chance. Shadows? Personas? Whatever those may be, I knew you had solid intel on the enemy. Anyway, after Marie showed up and declared that this was her kingdom, now she brainwashes anyone she can find, then uses them up until they're nothing. Anything else you'd like to ask? Sorry, I'm also looking something up real quick. Didn't she? Marie is strong enough that it'll take everyone in the city to stop her. Okay, it sounds like I'll get all the DLC stuff after I save the first of my friends. That's why I founded the Rebel Corps. I've served as leader ever since. As the one who inspired the citizens here to fight, it's my job to see that Marie no longer enslaves them. Well, you certainly have a good reason to be considered a criminal, huh? Pretty impressive, Arena. Well, our current win record certainly isn't impressive. There are so few of us left now. We're basically an army in name only. Yeah, when your enemies get right back up, there's only so much you can do. Right. The best we can do now is lay low here and look for gaps in their defense. So, was there anything else? Why? You two were in trouble, so I had to help. Even if it meant getting caught? Those guys already had it out for you. I love Arena's outfit, though. Like, a little tattered, but again, sounds like she's been fighting for a while. But I think it's also in the fact that that is very much an aesthetic I like. I love double-breasted uh, stuff. Uh, she's got a little bit of military Lolita going. Again, a little less on the Lolita side. already considering recruiting you to our cause. I'd never seen anyone go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie's forces before. Not that well, anyway. We'll certainly take the compliment. But you were the real star back there. Thanks again, Arena. It was a pretty big gamble on my part, but I'm definitely glad it paid off. So, anything else? 
So, I understand that Marie is doing whatever she pleases in this world. But do you know if she has a goal? If she's going through the effort of enslaving everyone, it has to be for some reason. <sighs> the perfect wedding. The perfect wedding? She wants to get married? Yes, Marie is in a perpetual state of preparing her wedding. It's become her single obsession by this point. It always needs to be more, no matter the pain it may cost. Can't say I expected that. A bride seller. Her own legionnaires, the citizens she captured, even your own friends are all forced to prepare her wedding. She was even able to command them to build her that tank with the premature message on the grill. Marie sounds like a real threat. She's self-centered enough to sacrifice everyone around her for her own desires. And if she's as powerful as she seems, then everyone's in real trouble. Oh, we need to act fast. Well, now that we've got a grasp on things, let's figure out our next course of action. Yeah, that's our top priority. But given how strong their brainwashing is, this isn't gonna be easy. About that, I have a suggestion. Oh, um. you two want to free your friends from Marie and escape this metaverse, and I want to take Marie down so nobody has to live under a tyrant anymore. With that in mind, I think we should join forces. Would you be willing to join the Rebel Corps if I were to help you on your rescue mission? <laughs> I see. In other words, you want to make a deal, right? How about it? Yeah, there's still way too much we don't know to do this on our own. Not only do we need to rescue our friends, but we need to figure out how to get back home, too. I'd say the more of us, the better. And she seems pretty capable, too. And eventually, I feel she'll probably get her own persona. We talked it over, and it's unanimous. You've got a deal, Rena. Excellent. Then it's a deal. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. First things first. I officially deem you two members of the Rebel Corps. So, with that said, welcome to the Resistance, comrades. The comrades? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go with that for now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get myself in trouble someday for saying that. <laughs> I'm piss off some Russian friend. Probably somebody who speaks Russian. <laughs> I should write that down. Okay, interesting. So, unlike... Actually, let's see. Yeah, so unlike... <laughs> unlike Persona 5 Strikers, where you could not change your gun, you could only change your melee weapon, it looks like it's the opposite here. It looks like here, we can change our guns, but we cannot change our melee weapons. Interesting, interesting. Wait, is she ro rocking a... Nah, she's got a replica pistol, okay. Oh god, there's skill trees? Okay, fuck. <laughs> Oh no. Well, shit. <laughs> Mm 
Now, does that 12 only work on one, or is it all? See, I don't want to do either of those, because I think I'm going to do Soul Repose. Okay, good. Thank goodness. It's for everybody. Yeah, I'm going to do Soul Repose to start. Just because these other two are just too expensive currently. And having Soul Repose will be good. And again, if things do start to get too hard, I'll swap to safe. But I should be relatively okay. Time to progress the story. Dare you? Very well then. Have at you. <laughs> no need to have at anyone. You can stand down. These are our new comrades. I don't even want to get into it. Just fill him in on our situation later, Arena. You were out on recon, right? Find anything? Correct, Captain. And your intel was right on the mark. Multiple unknown individuals are being held in the prison near Marius. I'm not surprised that Marie sees you and your compatriots as a threat. Despite being brainwashed, her more powerful puppets usually get locked up and not in use. We won't know for certain whether or not these are your friends unless we see for ourselves. Right, time for me to start upholding my end of the deal. If we really did find your friends, they could give our forces a solid boost when we spring them. Alright, we'll head out once you've rested up. I'll draw up a plan of attack. It won't take very long. Oh boy. Man, I didn't expect us to get beat as badly as we did. <laughs> yeah. Phantom thieves don't leave this kind of score unsettled. Exactly. It sure would be nice if we could get some decent intel first, though. Well, it's no use thinking about it now. Plus, we've got Arena helping us out with that now. Hopefully, she comes up with a strategy that... Blue butterfly of fate. Blue butterfly floated past us and faded away. Where it vanished, there's now a familiar looking door. The blue door? Don't tell me. Wait, you can see it this time, Morgana? Wait, is it different somehow? Yeah, it is. Let's go through it. Oh, she gone. I guess out of all the ones that would potentially know about the blue door, it would be Morgana. But at the same time, he never recognized the door before. Or did he just never say anything? He might have never said anything, it was the rest of them that, that didn't notice it. I don't know. I've sworn he made a couple comments about spacing out, but that, that could have been Ryuji. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, Morgana is originally from the Blue Door Room. Because he is a cr he was the last desperate creation of Igor. In 5. Because he's, he's the last will of, of humanity. But yeah, yeah, I thought he didn't notice the door before, because they always talked about him spacing out. Whoa. He was going That's to his mind totally palace. different in here now. Oh, it's a steampunk paradise. I fucking love this. Machines all over the place. What happened? It's been a while. <laughs> well, a very short while, I suppose. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh, she's got a blacksmith's apron on now. This realm exists between dream and reality, between mind and matter. It appears you've suffered quite the ordeal yet again <laughs> uh the the character you get to see in classic persona 5 for all of like 10 minutes before the end of the game <laughs> at least in royal we get an extra month though she has a lot of difficulty getting to maruki's um recreated world 
then we got her through all of of strikers now we get her through hopefully all of tactica wait yeah okay so we are having some consistency issues here he even knows who she is yeah has been affected by the same guidance of fate as that which has claimed yourselves. And this guiding hand must be wielded by a being with significant power. However, I do not know which being is responsible, nor their intentions. I hope we're not getting another God of Control simulacrum. <laughs> We've already had two. <laughs> Technically three. <laughs> is that our current situation deviates greatly from the natural course of events. Yeah, no shit. I admit that my carelessness led to being caught in this aberration and pulled from my master's side. Oh, we don't get Igor again. God damn it. No. <laughs> it got you too, Miss Lavenza? Whoever this being may be, they are also responsible for the chaotic state of this room. It's as if some force of negation has infected this place this force has unfortunately affected you all as well deepening the issue you currently face yeah we we didn't get it for strikers for all of strikers igor was actually absent um which i guess that's kind of fitting for five because again we didn't get like igor did say welcome to my velvet room for persona five but it was in that deep disturbing voice that was not Igor's sneaky kind of snivelly voice that he has um so <laughs> Igor's just not gotten to say it for the past few years it's it's fine I see. so that's why we couldn't summon our personas like usual this woman named Marie called the place a kingdom or something. okay so that was a canon description for why their the versions of their personas are not working because technically he should have had oh what was the final form of Morgana's in royal but yeah, it should have been Whatever it the is, third form. Sure is weird. Then I will henceforth refer to that realm as a kingdom. This kingdom is a world disparate from Mementos and the other palaces. Unfortunately, returning will be no easy feat. We would each be stuck here for eternity were we to simply wait. Right. We've never given up before. We're not starting now. We're gonna rescue the others and get us all the hell out of here. <laughs> I expected as much from you. This realm, sealed off from all other realities. There is still much to learn. However, so long as you have the will to overcome this ordeal, I will spare no effort to aid you. I am the one who rules over power. To draw out the potential lying dormant within you, I shall reprise my role for you in this place. Wait, are you gonna split yourself? As I had previously explained, this room has no, 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 no. a grave disturbance. Apologies, but would you mind taking your leave? I vow to tidy up the place before your next return. Indeed, I wholly believe that you can do this, Trickster. Thank you, Lavenza. Morgana, I leave him in your care. And I'll be sure not to let you down, Miss Lavenza. By the way, that outfit. Is that also the mysterious being's fault? No. I merely thought, under the circumstance, I could perhaps dress more fittingly to theme. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> 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 God damn it, Lavenza. Uh, does it suit me? Yeah. Uh, looking cool. <laughs> Pleases me to hear that. <laughs> well then, please visit me anytime you need. Through the door in the hideout. We shall meet again soon. Now. Are we just spacing out for everyone else? We still need to settle this issue about our weapons. It'll only get more difficult using what we have now. What to do? Oh, everyone, I bring some news. A short while ago, a person wearing a strange mask appeared and asked for this to be delivered to you promptly. Someone in a mask wants to give us something? 
<laughs> Hello. Wait, these are weapons. Ah, a note came with it. I believe it's addressed to addressed to all of you. Let me see what it says. Dear all, I have a solution regarding your current situation. I believe you are wondering how you may acquire additional weapons. However, the type of weapons you need are special ones that operate based on cognitive nature of your abilities. It is nearly impossible to get your hands on such weapons in the metaverse. They sure know an awful lot about us. Mm. Well, they're not wrong. It's not like we have access to EY's store from here. That said, how did these weapons get here? However, if they do not exist, then all you must do is build them from scratch. For this, I have a proposition. Allow me to make and prepare weapons for you. I believe you have something called online shopping in your real world. Following a similar system. Oh, I see the advert has kicked in, so we'll stop for a second. <laughs> Damn adverts, but oh well. They help give me occasional money, so I, I gotta be somewhat thankful. <laughs> Interesting, this weapons dealer knows knows of our world and the metaverse. It's hmm. Oh god, was this Lavenza? <laughs> that was what Strikers was, quintessentially was. It was a super fast black market uh delivery system run run via a circuit done by Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> using her own banked cryptocurrency. <laughs> and then we compensated her for the, the items and materials. <laughs> so you kind of hear Metaverse Amazon, but for guns. <laughs> All right, 13 more seconds. Ah. <sighs> Just gotta always gotta. I have to stop when I see the advert roll in. <laughs> it was not. It was not Emma. It was Sophia because Sophia was the prototype for Emma. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay. So following a similar system, you can place an order with me, and I should deliver your goods directly to you. I'll be adding new products in due time, so please make use of the service. Okay, that's all. Which means no sign off, huh? How mysterious! That last part wasn't me, by the way. They actually ended it. Okay, that's all. But more mysteriously, this person seems to understand your situation pretty well. Do you know who it might be? Oh, it's Lavenza. Oh wait, there's more to the letter. P.S. Please note that I will require payment. And that is how deals work, do they not? And if you refuse, I will unleash the flames of the apocalypse and they will consume you whole, leaving no ashes in their wake. <laughs> yeah, it was just Amazon in disguise. Though in this universe, pineapple is the, u the um, uh, Apple equivalent, because uh, that was something that we heard in uh, Persona 5 Strikers was towards the beginning of the game, Madis was uh, getting ready to partner in a deal with Pineapple in order to go worldwide. Yeah, Sophia was adorable. I miss her. Uh, that's pretty brutal. Now, I, now I'm even more curious who this person is. So in short, you can buy weapons from them as long as you pay, right? If that's the case, I'll show you where my secret stash is. It's meant to be the Rebel Corps' war funds, but we are in partnership after all. Ooh. Have my things. We really owe you, Arena. I ask to return the favor with our future successes together. Wonder why Lady Le I mean, I wonder why this unknown sender would go about this in such a roundabout manner. Okay, it's it's Lavenza, which explains why A, she knows of our world, B, knows of the metaverse, and C, 
knows of our situation. Okay, yeah, it's Lavenza. Well, no point guessing. More importantly, it's great news for us. Aww. Let's be sure to use the service whenever we want to procure weapons, Ren. I'll take care of ordering the goods then. Come talk to me when you need anything. Though I'm guessing we're going out to mission. Ah, oh, no. We're getting things unlocked. I have a new weapon available. Please, take your time. What would you like? Make sure you're well prepared. Oh, wow. Hers are expensive. Please take your time. You have a good eye. Thanks for your purchase. What would you like? Everything good? All right, here you go. Please take your time. Make sure you're well prepared. Okay, I'll eventually get hers because that'll be a huge jump in her gun. Come back soon. Okay, good. So everybody is the same level no matter what. That will be good. So about these people in the Rebel Corps, you know, I know what you're thinking, Ren. What are these people really, right? Hmm. Normally, we'd be able to infer that based on their appearance and behavior, but it's not working like that here for some reason. This could be related to the mysterious effect that Miss Lavenza told us about. What we do know is that they're not made of the same stuff as you humans are. I wonder if everyone here looks like that lives here looks like this. But then why does Arena look like a normal person? So many questions we don't have answers to yet. I um, excuse me. Yeah. Ah, what is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Would you care for another cup of coffee while we wait for the captain? Ah, oh, yeah, sounds good. Thanks. At least it seems like they're not bad guys here. Let's put a pin in the questions and just go with the flow for now. Right. We should take up their offer and get some rest before the next operation. Although, could I have a saucer of warm milk instead? The fresher the better, please. I'm counting on you. Oh, and don't forget to cool it down to room temperature first. Um. Oh, Morgana. Also, interesting, we, we also get, um... Okay. Yeah, it looks like we also get points for doing that. Oh, and we can replay cleared stages to get stuff, but let's see. I deep However Unfortunately it appears your special ability has changed its workings in some way. However, there's no need to worry. I'll take these circumstances into account and make the necessary adjustments for you. A moment, please. When everything has been adequately prepared, I will call for you once more. Until then, though, I must ask for your patience. Okay. Yeah, the power of the trickster. Um. Here, we're gonna save again because we've had a lot of exposition stuff because Surprise, surprise, we're, you know, we're starting a new game, so. Yeah, let's go progress the story. Next battle. All right, let's go over the current plan. Take a look at this map. Let's see. The whole city's surrounded by the castle's outer walls, huh? So we just need a titan. Yes, 
The hideout's marked here. We're in part of the city that's a fair distance from the castle. And here is the prison where they're holding your friends. How do you plan for us to get there? Well, we certainly can't just travel the streets. Security is tighter than ever now. They've been after me for quite a while, but now they're looking for you two as well. So, I think the safest course of action is to make our way there along the top of the castle's outer walls. I guess... I guess they did have Ren dressing in that at the beginning, didn't they? Which is funny, because Ren, A, no longer goes to Shujin, and B, he's no longer a second year, he's a third year. So he's got the two pins still, and yeah, he's still wearing the Shujin colors. Uh, again, little, little funny inconsistencies, but that's me being anal retentive. Yeah, we're definitely less likely to get surrounded that way. But this is so reckless! Just imagine what would happen were you to fall! Don't you worry about that. We're used to this sort of stunt. We don't call ourselves phantom thieves for nothing, right? Oh, good. Sounds like this strategy will play to your strengths. Hopefully we can find our friends and get them out of there before it's too late. Everyone, hang on just a bit longer. Okay. Well, have you found those rats for me? Not yet, ma'am. We have every last man hunting them now. I see. Then, every last man is absolutely pathetic. I want those three at my feet now! Yes, ma'am! I swear, how can they all be so useless? Just as the ceremony was falling into place, the vermin start crawling in through the walls. All I need is the perfect wedding, then everything I've ever wanted will finally be within my grasp. Until that moment comes, anyone in my way is sure to regret it. Oh, play things. Mm -hmm. I think I'm in the mood now to try out my new little toys. Oh, my poor friends. That defiant little brat who escaped. Joker, was it? You are to find him and bring him to me. I want him alive. Got it? Your wish is our command, great lady Marie. Soon, I'll have that arrogant brat within my grip once more. And this time, I'll crush him right in front of his friends! <laughs> I can't wait to destroy you, lady. <laughs> and not in a fun way. Well, it'll be fun for me, but... <laughs> all right. Looks like we made it all the way to the top. Ah. We haven't been spotted yet. I hope we can keep this up. Although I may have spoken too soon. <laughs> Again, fun for me. It'll be a shit ton of impact play. <laughs> we got lookouts. What now, Joker? Ah. Yeah, sounds like we're on the same page. I'm gonna get their attention. Everyone ready? Ready when you are. Interesting metaverse loading screen. Each stage has a set of conditions. Let's see. Clear in five turns. No one party gets KO'd. Get 
ready. And executed. Fucking dare you. Joker, take down an enemy. Next, go in. Four enemies. We'll get through this somehow. What? Oh, look how big that one is. Careful, that's a very powerful legionnaire. It won't down go, go down easily and will strike back whenever you attack it. Very well. So, what you're saying is if you're reckless and attack when you're too close, you'll get a nasty counterattack in return. Yes, though they are vulnerable after their counterattack. That's the time to hit them. Let's see. Show me what you've got. Get ready. Nicely done. That's also nice that we can go back and do previous ones, because that'll be good for um, getting all the extra experience and money and stuff that we missed. I've got to know. Just what the hell are those things? Oof, your powers aren't working like usual either, are they? Miss Lavenza didn't know what was going on either. That means we must have reached a really strange place. It seems you two are still feeling held back. I must say, you're certainly holding your own regardless. That persona of yours. How'd you get that, if you don't mind my asking? 
Personas are the power of the heart made manifest. You should be able to summon one too if you try. Uh, really? Would you mind if I tried now? Hmm. Persona! <laughs> Before they catch us. God damn it, Arena. I do like the loading transition screen being a little little fancier. Six turns. Okay. A new move. Yeah, special ones I've been saving the right time. Just do exactly as I say, I got it. First up, Joker. Shoot the enemy that's in the middle to knock it down. What to do here? Ah. Nice hit. They're down. Okay, next we have to surround the downed enemy. I'll stand here. I see you, Arena. Once you're in position, we'll be ready. Got it. Not sure what you have planned, but leave it to me. Alright. We're in a great position. Arena, follow our lead, will you? Gotcha. Let's get it done, Joker. Ah, triple threats. Wow, that was awesome. We beat them no problem. Well yeah. <laughs> you weren't too shabby yourself. Three people surround an enemy, then attack, huh? Talk about a powerful tactic. It might even be more effective if we can surround more enemies. Nobody's stopping the Phantom Thieves now. Let's keep this up and finish off the rest. Oh, 
do Having the F button be the be the arts attack is a little What? No. It's over! One dead. I love the fact we can shove them around with melee attacks. Hmm? There's something on the ground here. Never seen anything like that before. I wonder if one of the enemies dropped it. I suppose we can take it for now. Maybe listen to Venz and know something about it. I'm waiting for Arena being like, who's this Miss Lavenzi you keep talking about? Alright. Like Was that all of them? Yeah, looks like it. That was too careless of me. Thank you for jumping in like that. I don't sweat it. We know what it's like when things go south on you. Ready to go? Okay, we all ready to crash this prison? Let's do it. Let's save him. Poison. We made it. That went surprisingly well. Huh? Oh, got it. Shh. Legionnaires incoming. Hide. Phew. Looks like we're in the clear. Security's a lot tighter around here. You Phantom Thieves are in a whole different league. I could learn a thing or two from you. We try to find every advantage we can. Never take your opponent's head on unless you have to. And consider that your first lesson in Phantom Thievery. <laughs> My god, I'm so glad to have another apprentice. But it looks like you're getting the hang of it pretty quickly. Right, Joker? Oh, great idea! Want to become my next apprentice, Arena? Let's see. <laughs> I'm honored, but I'm already struggling to keep up. Don't worry. Once we get your persona, because I'm guessing that she does have one. Because right now her abilities are forget. She. Let's start the next lesson. If anything, she might be an element that has not shown up in the previous games, or she's light again. Because uh, Violet and Crow are both DLC characters, so maybe main story has 
her as a light element uh, wielder. Clear in five turns. Okay. Let's see if I can do a group kill on... It's not always the best idea to charge straight into battle. If you stand still and focus, you might find that there's more than one way to win a fight. Huh? Really? Just like that? Mm. Try to do it yourself. Don't attack and see what happens. What to do here? Let's do it. Ah, coordinate. Oh! If nobody attacks, we get a... I feel like my focus is sharpened. Oh. Huh? You're emitting some kind of aura. Right. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. Here I go. Show me what you got. Right there. Yes, you knocked down that enemy even though they were in cover? Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Oof. So something like that. What the heck kind of focusing are you doing? I'm pretty sure that's a trick only you can do. Success. Glad to be of use. Count me on, count on me to use the skill from now on too. I'm on you. We all have a different abilities when we focus. Use them wisely, everyone. Oh, that's disgusting. I love it, though. Here I go. All right. Excellent positioning, Joker. Position if you can evade this. Hey, I can't help but be enamored by my own. What to do here? Looks like there's still more enemies around. We got some distance between us. How do you want to uh, take this? Let's see, in times like these, sit still and focus, right? Mm. You're a fast learner. Give them a nice surprise. I got it. Focus their strength and smash their face into the ground. Joker's getting in place, which is good. An incredible evasion. You're in perfect cover. What to do here? All right. Let's see. Ship 
<laughs> okay, that, that triple threat, that is so cool. That, that really ramps up the, like, capabilities. That's, that's really fucking cool. <laughs> All right. Enemy down. We're going great so far. Ah. Yeah, but security is going to get a lot tighter from here on. We'll need to be extra careful going forward. Hmm. Roger that. I'm trying to see if I can start flexing some old voice acting stuff again. Let's keep moving. Hmm. What's wrong? Everything seems to be going well enough, considering. It's just... This place is guarded pretty well. So why haven't we heard any alarms yet? You mean, this could be a trap? Yeah, something's off here. Our work might get a lot tougher real soon. No use worrying over it now. All we can do is keep going. I have to save all my friends. Took them all from us. There can't be much further to go. It's so quiet in here, it's creepy. Huh? In there! We've come to save you. You've come to what? Wait, that's not. That's an adult. Hmm? Who are you? Well, that's what I was going to ask. So you're telling me this man isn't a phantom thief? Joker. Do you even recognize him? Huh? I'd say that's the diet member. Well, in that case... Just who did we free? Oh, uh -huh. hmm? I thought the others were being held here. But where have I seen this guy before? On TV? Oh, right! The politician that went missing! It's Kasukabe or something, right? Um, yes. I am Toshiro Kasukabe. I'd like for someone to tell me that as well. <sighs> I don't get it. Just what is happening here? Finding myself in this bizarre world with all those terrible monsters. Then I get rescued by a magician looking teen with a bizarre cat mascot. <laughs> Something wrong with me? When did I even get here? He's muttering to himself like a loon. But at least he doesn't seem brainwashed by Marie. He's got a little bit of Phoenix Wright vibes going on right now, and like I I don't know how to feel, honestly. <laughs> I have many feelings. can't just leave him here to rot. That settles it. We're gonna help you escape this prison. I don't know who you people are, but I would definitely like to get out of here. Why does his voice also sound familiar? Why does he... Hmm. I suggest we make our way out before those terrible girls come back. Terrible girls? Yes. They have been guarding this prison until very recently. I promise you, they are not to be trifled with. I suggest avoiding them at any cost. Especially the girl with the whip and the brazen leather outfit. She's the scariest one, by far. Hmm. I have a feeling we know just who he's talking about. Oh my! Just where do you four think you're going? Speak of the devil and so she arrives. <laughs> Listen, you must not provoke her. Do she won't hold back. 
Aw, he sounds so nice and unhinged. This Marier just needed to become a dominatrix. That's just. But I'm glad you did. Now I can snatch up the rest of you all in one fell swoop. What is going on? You already know them? No, don't bother answering that. Let's just get away fast. How do I not get a say here? Get ready. We're going to make them come to their senses. Yeah, let's let's get my friends back. Let's give me give me Oracle and and Panther, please. <laughs> Guessing Ryuji's gonna be the one that takes the longest. Let's have some fun, shall we? We shall fulfill Lady Marie's every last wish. Ah, uh, she's gonna buff her, isn't she? Oh, that's a problem. I see explosive barrels. All right, defeat Panther. Got it. All right. Hmm. <gasps> A flag. Where have I seen it before? Hey, where do you think you're looking? Keep your eyes over here. Come on, let's have some fun and start the show. Panther, Oracle. Well, we have no choice but to fight back. If we hesitate, we'll be the ones who are taken out. If we knock them out, maybe they'll snap out of it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, watch out for those barrels. You hit them with enough force, they'll explode. There we go. I gotta save my friends.
Look at this spot. I sure know how to pick them. This is gonna hurt. Pixely horsemanship by me. Just look at this spot. I sure know how to pick them. Get ready for that. Damn you little brats. Scamper around all you like. But your attacks are pathetic. Can't you just do something a little more fun? Oh, huh? She looks totally unfazed. You don't think this is part of Marie's powers too? To make them forget even pain? Well, there's no way her body can handle something like that for long. She'll fall apart. Joker, we've got to save Panther fast. Oof. I think I have a better idea for... do that to see if I can ensure That's got all of them. All right. It's showtime. Damn you, little brats. Scamp around all you like. Uh, right. you can do <laughs> this is, that isn't nearly enough you gotta be kidding she should have been knocked out by now you're the ones who will be knocked out face down in front of lady marie's flag flag looks like the two of them are absorbing power from that flag so that's the gimmick joker can you target that flag <laughs> nice try the flag is a symbol of domination it will just keep coming back are you serious Damn it! what are we supposed to do then? What if... But if the flag's a symbol of domination, wouldn't targeting it... That means we need to take it. Look, 
God, I hate that so much. She'll put us under her control. But even if that's true, how do you expect this skirmish to... I don't care if it's brainwashing or domination. It's better than dying. Hey, it's Toshiro, right? I definitely agree that things are looking bad. But it's not over for us yet. Why is he only wearing one glove? As long as we have hope, then we fight. Even if we have to crawl our way to the end, we fight. When you refuse to stand up to injustice, you become complicit. Uh, are you? Someone you know? What? Spear of Light. There we go. We got Futaba and Aeon back. Yay! What is happening? Rebellion. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> Thank you. You made this possible. Bear witness! This banner shall drive our rebellion! Time for action! The revolution is here! Does this mean we also get some of the Legionnaires? Oh well. <laughs> Whoa! Where'd that flag come from? Wait, we'll come back to that. Panther! Oracle! Uh, uh. Oh, my head is pounding. Oh good. Looks like that brought him back. We'll start guessing later. Right now, we have to focus on escaping. Right. I have no idea what's going on here, but I have to agree with the catfishy thing. Why does everybody think he's a catfish? Listen real well, all right? I am not a catfish! Oh, my, my apologies. I didn't realize I was mistaken. Hmm. An eel? I'm not an eel either! What's wrong with your eyes? Just oh, pull it together and give us a hand with them. This is going to be so awkward for him when he gets out of the metaverse because he's going to be able to hear Morgana. <laughs> ah, yes. Allow me. All right, let's move out. I'll look after these two while they recover. Would you mind leading us back to the hideout? Yes, let's get out of here. You lead the way. Okay, okay, I get it. Follow me. Flag of freedom. Ooh. Cause so we're gonna need that for Later the rest of them. Be awake soon so that'll be, let's see. Cause we still have Fox, 
a noir queen and skull to save. But at least we got two of the six back. Next on our plate, we've got a lot of catching up to do. First, let's start off with you. All right, Toshiro. And for your own sake, I hope you don't turn out to be our enemy. Well, hang on now. I understand you may be suspicious of me, but imagine how I feel. Firstly, what is this place? And who are you people? No, wait. Why is there a cafe in a place like this? And why did you suddenly change appearances when you stepped inside? Uh, maybe try just going with the flow here. This is far beyond the flow. <laughs> Oh man, the, the, the voice actors they get to do like the normie characters that get that stumble into this place because like with um with um Wolf in the previous game in Strikers, like before he unlocked his persona capabilities, oh man, was he fucking unhinged? It's just like I'm going crazy, I'm going crazy, <laughs> and I'm glad that they're actually continuing that theme with with Hoshiro here. In the past half hour alone, I witnessed ten incidents where the laws of physics were outright defied. Actually, it's 11 if you count it. Oh, then there was. Uh, sounds like a no. He sounds about as. Start from the top. <laughs> he sounds just as manic as, as Phoenix too. Oh, <laughs> like it, it's not the same voice, at all. But it's like his slight appearance to it, that and just. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. Hmm. Let's see. This world is somehow separate from my own, controlled by a woman named Marie. So you phantom thieves have teamed up with the rebel core here to end her tyranny. Yeah, you got it. Makes sense now? <laughs> no. How the hell could I get that? I know. This has to be a dream. Perhaps some dystopian organization is experimenting on constructing worlds directly in people's brains. <laughs> Funny you say that. We've had that happen twice now. <laughs> We're not stuck in a dream or experiment. May it might still be an experiment. Okay, time for you to answer our questions. Why did Marie have you locked up in her prison? Well, I was... I actually have no idea. Huh. <laughs> well, don't give me that look. I know what you're all thinking, but I'm telling the truth. I just woke up in this world, then those monsters locked me up. But you remember your name and everything, right? Yes. Well, my name, I mean, other things I should remember seem to have escaped me. I know I'm a diet member and a few other details here and there, but there are these huge sections of my memory that are gone. It's rather unsettling. So that woman that was cackling at the beginning of the game with that old man. Yeah, this is somehow metaverse still. You heard him. What's your take? Seriously? Well, I guess there's no proof he's with Marie. We can't just toss him out on the street. That's right. So just get me out of here as soon as possible. I'm not so stupid as to ask the phantom thieves to place their trust in someone like myself. Yeah, government official versus phantom thieves, yeah. Hang on. You know we're the phantom thieves? After the mess you've made over the last year, how could I not? Especially your most recent fiasco. I remember that all too well. Oh, the summer? Yeah. Even Toshiro knows who you are? Maybe the phantom thieves really are a big <laughs> Listen... The home, the whole Madis thing. That's it's not our fault. We just stumbled into it. For better or worse, I'd have to agree. I also like that they keep it vague, so for anybody who did not play Strikers, um, can walk in and be like, "Oh, you're talking about the whole, you know, Shido incident," because no one remembers the final fight with the God of Control except for the themes. S same with um, same with at the very, very end of Strikers. No one remembers the fight between Emma or... Oh, God, what what did she call herself by the end? I can't remember now. Because she, she gave herself a different name. A, bibli a biblical name. 
but I can't remember what. She wasn't the Ark of the Co like Ark of the Covenant was her substage, but then her goddess form had a different name. No one remembers that fight either, or you know, the Tokyo Sky Tree suddenly transforming into Yggdrasil. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, actually, this is a good time for my paranoid ramblings because an advert just kicked in. <laughs> so yeah, the the last event, if following Striker's timeline, was dealing with Madis. Which is fun. But here, yeah, we'll we'll hold off for 90 seconds as we let this advert roll through. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun in this game though. Like I'm already enjoying myself immensely, like um, and I think easy will be just the right difficulty for me, and the fact that I love the fact that we can actually undo the previous turn. We fuck up something so badly, we can reset the turn and try to fix it, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm just not the most tactical mind in the world, uh, funnily enough. It's funny, I can strategize on other things or on interactions, but, uh... <laughs> Again, I've been doing that all my fucking life, but when it comes to actually, like, unit targeting strategy like this, it's a little bit harder. Like, I, I did play some of, like, Mario and Rapids when it first came out on the Switch. Um, and that was okay there. Again, kind of, kind of what it feels like with this game as well is it feels kind of like a tactics game, but with its gloves on, um, which is rather nice. But yeah. <laughs> All right, looks like the advert's up, so we can continue. Can all of Hi, Kamui. You may have your contingent of fans fawning over you, but I have nothing but distaste for your style of mayhem. I can't believe you've been a gang of children this whole time. No! But regardless of the circumstances, I cannot condone children <laughs> illegal activities to rail against what they perceive as unjust authority figures. You sound like the exact kind of politician we go after. Yeah. <laughs> uh, apologies. Now is probably not the best time for this. <laughs> I guess I'll be stealing your heart later. I'm not sure how you'll react to this, but I'd like to make a proposition. You phantom thieves are cooperating with the rebel corps to find a way back to the real world, correct? Uh, so from what I can tell, Kamui, this takes place both after Persona 5 and Strikers. Um, this seems to take place the winter of 2017. Um, during the winter of 2016 is when we took down the God of Control in Persona 5, with the coming January afterwards for Royal taking down Maruki. Then Strikers was the summer of 2017. Um, August, specifically. And so this... They're having a very strong winter in the real world, though we got to see it for all of a couple minutes before getting sucked into this world. Um, so I'm guessing it's... Due to the fact, especially, that Ren is back in Tokyo, I am guessing that it is during, during winter break, which should be around Christmas time 2017. Because it would be kind of silly if... Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, so you still have... Um, strikers to go through, unless you didn't get uh, the third semester unlocked in Royal. I am. That means we share the same goal. How about you let me join you in exchange for my aid? Ah, good. I I I failed to do that with Crow, other I so I didn't get the perfect ending. So I I need to. Yeah, I I needed to work on interacting with everybody more. I don't really feel like arguing against it. What do you think, Arena? We've heard everything we need to hear. Now we just have to decide whether or not we believe him. Hmm. And I think nice. I'm going to believe him. Yeah, I'm I'm going on a second playthrough in my own time, which is taking longer because I'm doing it in my own time, and it's harder for me to play games when not on stream. 
but I didn't want to force people through another 140 something hours of, of streaming Persona 5 Royal on top of the fact that I was already starting Strikers and now with Strikers done we're doing Tactica so <laughs> But yeah, um, this is interesting because so we're we're in something semi metaverse adjacent, but it seems a little stronger. Uh, several of our friends have been brainwashed, which is a good way to um, rob us of them. Oh, thank you. I, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, more than fair persona 5 strikers is interesting so each of each of the uh, extra persona games is a completely different genre <laughs> strikers plays like a dynasty warriors game it is it is muso-esque and then so action adventure i guess is what we'd call it these days or large army beat em up whatever you want to call them and then this is a tactical game this is a, a tactical turn um tactical strategy Ah, uh, fair, yeah. Persona 4 is a bit different. Again, there were some things that hampered 4 and 4 Golden, um, you know, in their development, and then, you know, with all of 3's fiasco at the time. Yeah, so, th so this doesn't do, like, standard turn-based like a, an RPG would. This, you know, you, you guide them on a square grid, and you have to strategize. Yeah. Like that, or like Pokemon Conquest, or, um, or, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yeah, FF Tactics, which, yeah. And if you wind up double crossing us, <laughs> oh yeah, Persona One and Two were that. Same way we'd handle any other so yeah, we're we're going back to that. Quite the clever rebel, aren't you? Let's make it official. Welcome to the Rebel Court, Hoshiro. Happy to be aboard. My housekeeping skills should come in handy here. Oh, you were planning to just stick around here. Come on. I hope we can pull it off at least. Yeah, I know the two of us are definitely capable. I won't let it stress me. Soon the DLC stuff will arrive. Because we just saved on an oracle. So unfortunately, that means that our Panther and Oracle. So that unfortunately means Queen, Noir, Fox, and Skull are still captured. And I have a feeling Skull is going to be the one that takes the longest, just because of certain things that seems to show up now. Also, there's skill trees in this one. Of course, Anura. All right. Well, you have a great rest of your night too, Anura. I hope things go well for you. Oh, I already have that one. Phantom Judge. I guess I don't have enough skills, skill points yet for any new skills. Oh yeah, because uh, there's his, uh, the winds of time, and then obviously hers is going to be flag of freedom. Uh, she's in here as a DLC character, as is Crow. Uh, though I've I've definitely been calling her Surime, uh, or uh, or sorry, Sumire, Sumire, since that's her actual name. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sumire, yeah. Uh, she's in here as a DLC character. I made sure to get all the DLC because, yes. Yeah. But yeah, no, she's in here. Um, I think I'm about to unlock all the DLC so I can also, um, switch, um, switch Arsene with Raul, which was my preferred for, for Royal since that, since Raul is technically, um, Arsene in his second stage. And then obviously third stage is Sataniel. <laughs> uh, fair, fair. Uh, a lot of these people have been with me since since the end of Persona 5 Royal. So it's like, yeah, spoilers ahead. We're playing a game that's further down the timeline. 
The re revolution is here. Man, that was so cool, Arena. Sure wish she told us you had that power beforehand. I wouldn't have been nearly as worried. Oh, you mean the part with the flag? Mm. That took me by surprise, too. I generally had no idea I could do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like that too. Either I'll forget, or if my if my ev elephant's memory stays with me, it doesn't affect me much if I get spoiled on things. Like I I was already spoiled that Maruki was the final the final bad guy in Royal, uh, due to the fact of uh, <laughs> I was actually on YouTube looking at you know certain videos, and one of my favorite channels that I I follow is outside xbox now outside extra and sometime last year like or not last year at the very beginning of this year i saw a video of like seven things that you have to do just right in order to actually get the true ending and one of them was yeah persona 5 royal and that was what they chose for their splash card i'm like that looks like dr maruki oh son of a bitch <laughs> so i i already had known for quite a while that that dr maruki was going to be the bad guy but i still i kind of liked him i still kind of like him poor maruki oh it's not like i was trying to do that or anything but i do, do remember thinking clearly i refuse to lose all of a sudden the flag materialized in my hand and kind of got lost in a moment however Whatever did the trick, it was a real gamble. Mm. Still, it was more than we could have asked for. Thanks to you, Lady Anne and the others are back to their senses. Once you planted that flag of yours, all the Legionnaires were totally done for. I think it's safe to bet that your flag has some kind of power that can override Mari Marie's control. We found a real glimmer of hope in this place, Ren. Marie seems to be using flags of her own to maintain control of the area. So if we destroy her flags and replace them with the arenas, yes, that's right. then the people who are under her control will be free, including your friends. Yeah, exactly, yeah, in cognitive science, and then that's something similar that uh, that is the one thing that will happen is if you ever do play Persona 5 Strikers, um, that game was made after Persona 5, but before Royal came out. So the third semester doesn't exist. If you ever play it, there's a lot of parallels to what happened in Royal that happens in Strikers. It's kind of funny. Ah. I was about to ask the same thing. After all, it seems only you can wield that power the power of that flag. Okay. Of course I will. That's part of our deal, right? Yeah, he spilled everything at the end. Yeah, and again, it God, it hurts so much, especially like finding his will scenes. He wasn't a sin; he was just sorrow. Yeah, we're gonna steal his heart soon. Yeah, and Arena's flag must symbolize liberation and freedom. It's a perfect symbol for you, right? And I promise to do right by this flag and give my all in battle, just like you guys. Listen. Anyways, we gotta go save the rest of the gang so we can figure out how to get back home. Ah. Sounds good to me. Let's get ready for the next operation. Oh yeah, the final level of this relationship meter. Yeah. Let's see. Lavenza. <laughs> I love the look of her room. We apologize. I apologize, but my preparations are not quite finished yet. God, I do love the look of her her room here though. Like it even even her side of the realm is different. She's been pulled away from Igor by the by this uh, weird metaversal sub reality. Though Toshiro seems to recognize Erina. I have a guess. I have a guess of who or what Arena is, but we'll find out. Uh, much like Persona 5 Strikers, Igor is not present. Avenza literally got ripped away from him this time. At least in Strikers, it was just a convenient excuse of Igor is not here, but the problem persists. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I love this room because A, it's steampunk. B, 
Uh, it's blue and brass, which are two colors I'm very fond of together. Uh, I believe so, but we've not unlocked it yet. Again, we just started about th two and a half, three hours ago. So I think we need to do one more mission before she can do it. And even then, it's going to be different because the way Personas work here is, uh, is a little different. I admit that it has been somewhat of a struggle as I'm unfamiliar, unfamiliar with the machinery in here. However, I do recall my sister once saying... Whenever someone gives you guff, just to give them a good whack. I vow in my master's name that I shall, f shall fulfill my duties, no matter the number of whacks required. A moment, please. Until then, though, I must ask for your patience. Actually, that's a reference to... Oh, crap. What was the attendant in... That's not from the attendant in four they would give good whacks. Was it a... Was it threes? Yeah, I think she's going to do fusions, but we don't know for absolute certain just yet. What would you like? You have a good eye. Thanks for your purchase. Please take your time. Come back soon. Let's see. Oh, that would have helped. And yeah, she's got her S S R. I'm guessing this is going to be for Oracle and Panther to wake up. Hey, you two. Feeling any better yet? Ugh, I feel like my brain's still rebooting. But other than that, I'm fine. Mm, sorry to put you through all that. That being said, um, does anyone have any idea what's going on? Hey, hey is it still safe to be here? get really nasty again. Hey, what's with that guy whispering to Joker over there? Yeah, we should catch them up. So, this guy is... Alrighty, yet another mess we've stumbled into. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, exactly, Futaba. I suppose I'd feel the same if I were you. Although, I'd really appreciate it if you were willing to join our cause. You bet we're willing. Since you helped to free us from Marie, we've got to return the favor. Uh, really? You two will be a huge boost to our forces. Thank you. Uh, the one problem is... I haven't been filled in on the situation. It sounds like you've had a rough time here. Not worse than my own, though. <laughs> Shut up, Toshiro. No, they've had a worse time than you. They got fucking brainwashed and controlled. Are we supposed to trust I don't know if I can picture him having our backs. He seems like a pretty big phantom thieves hater. Do you really need another politician throwing you under the bus? <laughs> don't worry, we'll steal his heart later. Good point. But he doesn't seem all that bad to me. What do you mean that woman would do that? There must be no limit to her depravity. Mind controlling teenagers, making them wear absurd clothing. And to think of what she put on you in particular. I'm allowed to slug him right. Just this once. <laughs> You're a real rowdy bunch, aren't you? Uh, no fighting in the hideout, though. Please. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna let on beat him up. <laughs> um, maybe we should just move on. At this point, we really ought to figure out our next steps. The Rebel Corps' primary objective is overthrowing Maria's oppressive regime. As for the Phantom Thieves, you're trying to rescue your friends and find a way back to your own world, right? Right. Unfortunately, we have no idea where the exit could be. We don't have a single solid lead either. Our only option so far is to search Marie's castle. So, my memory of it's pretty fuzzy, but when I was under Marie's control... I think I saw a weird-looking door somewhere in the back of her throne room. 
I mean, it might not end up being the door we're looking for, but... No, a lead like that is way better than having nothing to go on. For now, let's try to find that door. There's a chance it'll take us back home. Sounds like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie is an inevitability at this point. Fiddling with our heads and making us follow orders. Hope she's ready for some sweet revenge. <laughs> We're gonna fuck her up. That's right. We're gonna make that jerk pay. Wait, if reaching the door is our only goal, then surely there's no need for full-scale combat. If we merely need to cross the threshold, perhaps, uh, just, a uh, flying cross chop or something. Great. Glad that settles things. Hey, don't just blow off my concerns with a grin. So, I was thinking, for our next move... <laughs> They're all ignoring him. Our top priority should probably still be rescuing the remaining Phantom Thieves from Mario. We'll need as many allies as possible to take her down. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. Now, if only we had some sort of clue as to where they might be. I've got some Rebel Scouts poking around town right now. We can hammer out our next course of action once they've reported back. Ooh, great work there, Captain. Make it happen. Nice. The rest of us will start prepping for combat. We should be ready to roll out in a moment's notice. Now the question is, is Futaba going to reacquire her role of Oracle where she's just support system or... Yeah. I also like the beat em up tactic that's in this game. Oh, oh God! We have phone service here. Huh? Is that phone ringing? You can't get calls in the metaverse. What's going on? Hello. Thank you for answering. This is Lavenza calling. Oh God! She's Lavenza? she's learned how to use phones. <laughs> you must be surprised, but considering the unusual situation we're in. I have made use of your smart telephone so that we may speak. First, I apologize for the wait. Preparations are finally complete on this end. Ah, uh, it's a little hasty. Mm, not again! <laughs> Take that! You. Miss <laughs> Lavenza? <laughs> Old style engines. Please come to the velvet room immediately. See you soon. I have no idea what's going on there. Also, the slight inconsistency that, yeah, Morgana can at least see the door. We'll see if the others start reacting. Lavenza summoning you. You should probably go see what that's about. But at the same time, ah, uh, I guess that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because, yeah, Morgana, by this point, has all his memories back. I don't know. I have no clue. Alright, let's go to the Velvet Room first, and then we can get weapons. Alright, let's see what this is. I have been awaiting you. You look like you have something you wish to say. What seems to be the matter? All who disregard instructions must be punished, no matter the transgressor. <laughs> oh, that, that is a beautiful, beautiful threat to give, right? <laughs> if you disregard my instructions, you must be punished. No matter what. <laughs> Does anyone take issue? <laughs> On top of that, just, do you take issue with the deer? <laughs> there is but one reason for your being summoned here. Yes, give me Raul. I have completed the arrangements necessary for your persona needs. Since the power of the wild card has been hampered somehow, you will have to make do with this process. Perhaps a demonstration would be simplest. I shall guide you through the process to ensure your comprehension. Before that, though, 
One small question. Have you sighted anything resembling this during your battles? Well then, this shall be easier to explain than I anticipated. Within these lies some sort of power that only exists in this world. Yeah, so that's the other thing we have is we don't have the full power of the trickster here. Because these things aren't... They're kind of shadows, but kind of not. Everything's a little wibbly wobbly here. I will now show you how to use this power to create oh. personas. So this is how we'll get it. This place honestly feels hot. Okay, so we still get a little bit. Oh shit, no, never mind. They are shadows. Huh. Okay. One moment, please. Yeah, I want all the elemental things. As much as passives are usually good. That had a very gotcha feel to it, but I love it. to switch between different personas this new power is available not only to yourself but to your compatriots as well oh this place honestly That's... feels hot your strength is being tested Okay. What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? That's cool. Okay. Like Are you finished? This place honestly feels hot. What do you think of that? It is an honor to receive high praise from one such as yourself, Trickster. So long as the flame of your resolve continues to burn, I will be by your side. Please return should you ever find yourself in need of more power. With that being said... Would you like to look at the Persona Compend and please take a look? Let's see here. I'm just seeing if any of my other ones are here. Okay. What would you like to do? Ready to take your leave? And I have a final gift before you do. There is no doubt that you will face many battles in this kingdom where you found yourself. While I may have been roped into the situation as well, it is an unfortunate fact that I am unable to provide you my usual services. Therefore, I am providing you with something in an attempt to make up for this failure. Please take a look at your smart telephone. Whenever you have need for my assistance, 
Please make use of that application. A new metaverse key, kind of. It will bring you right to me immediately. Oh, nice. Like this, even in the midst of battle, even if the enemy is right before your eyes, my aid is available to you. That's cool. Do you think so? Oh, and we'll pause because we have an advert rolling. <laughs> Oh, we're so close to the DLC, I think. Which means I can... I can get my favorite. Give me my favorite back. <laughs> Give me back Violet. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but here, yeah, we've got just a minute more, so we'll bear with. <sighs> oh. Yep, yeah, temperatures are definitely changing around where I'm at. Oh, one of my knees is starting to hurt. But at the same time, that means the cold's coming. I'll take the cold and a little bit of pain. It just means, I don't know, somebody needs to give me a leg rub or something. <laughs> nice massage. Never created something of that nature before. Oops. But I believe it will work without issue. Oh, so you never made the met well, I guess that makes sense. The original metaverse thing was God of Control slash Egors. This you served. No. And now I shall wish you the best of luck. Interesting. I see. A sub persona, huh? In other words, while you can't switch between personas at will like before, you can choose one persona to equip in addition to Arsene. And you're not the only one. The rest of us can equip a sub persona in this world too, which means that all of us can borrow the powers of other personas. This ability is amazing! If we use it wisely, we can more than double our firepower! Seems like I can't use the sub-persona ability since I don't have a persona in the first place. That's a shame. It would have been so cool to use it. Give it time. Don't feel too bad. I have a feeling she's going to get one eventually. You're more than on par with us when it comes to fighting. We'll be counting on you as usual, Arena. Yes. I promise to fulfill my end of the deal. Anyway, now that we have Miss Lavenza's support, we can rest easy. We should go see her if we ever need help with our new power. Okay, it's only those three to start still. Better jot that down. Ah, this should unlock them. Thanks so much. Uh, Miss Arena? Thank you so much for saving us. Ah. Uh, you can just call me Arena. I'm not big on formalities. <laughs> Thank you, Cinder. <laughs> Helps soften the skin a little more. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Futaba Sakura. <laughs> I, I, I should thank you, Captain Arena, for saving me. So, uh, thank you. Yeah. You gotta be kidding. What the heck? Where'd you find just a minute ago? These kinds of conversations are stressful, all right? Don't underestimate the anxiety of a former shut-in. <laughs> well, although I definitely feel a lot better now that we're here. 
He looks just like LeBlanc. He becomes complete with a Ren and a Mona. <laughs> huh? Mona? Hey. hey, that's not me. Did your glasses fog up or something? Okay, okay. Oh, but there is an uncanny resemblance. I mean, you're both cute. Not you too, Lady On. <laughs> no. But cute, you say? <laughs> At any rate, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, An and Futaba. It's a real relief to gain such strong allies for our cause. We can do this. So, first things first, I suggest we team up to to go save the rest of your friends. Listen. Ah, about that. How should we go about organizing our team exactly? I mean, it's definitely a good thing to have a larger squad, but we still need to decide who goes where during combat. Well, my vote is to stick to the current formation. No use meddling with a good thing. Hiding places are pretty limited around here. I'd recommend three squad members at most. That way, if anyone on the front lines goes down, we can just swap them out for someone with someone else. Oh, I get it. Oh, kind of like passing the baton to the next person. So, three on the front lines, the rest on standby. How's that sound, Ren? Great. We can focus where it hurts with a strike team and finish this conflict as efficiently as possible. I understand. A decent strategy strategy's finally opened up for the rebellion. It's all thanks to you, Phantom Thieves. I'll let your leader decide exactly who to bring to battle. Just FYI, I'm spec to assist from behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm not the hands-on type when it comes to combat, but I can still help out by analyzing enemies and providing navigation. I'm happy being on the front lines myself. I was born for this kind of action. <laughs> I may not have a ton of stamina at the moment, but Carmen can bring anything to a crisp. Awesome. I'll be sure to do my best to keep up with you all. We can do this. Ren, let's keep the ball rolling. Oh, and Morgana too. Hmm? Hmm? Hey. Hello, I'm right here. Were you blowing me off on purpose? <laughs> uh, getting tormented. I've got a decent amount of things now. Hold off so I can get Dia for him. Yeah, I think I'm still going to keep him on that. And yeah, like, much like I'm doing for. Morgana, I'm going to keep that. Then I'll probably start working on getting their area attacks after I get the heals. Have a look. 
Come back soon. Okay, those two are not quite ready. What would you like to do? Which persona would what would you are you finished? Would you like to look at the persona comp and please take a look? What would you like to do? Until next time. Let's quickly save. Better jot that down. Cause I'm gonna possibly go back to the menu for just a quick second. Just because I want to double check something for, um, DLC. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, I get it. That's not until later. Okay, I guess we'll get there later. Oh, But I- I wanted- I wanted Violet. to go to war with them? Have you considered a path without violence? Perhaps we could talk to them and come to an agreement. Uh. Do you really think they'd be willing to listen to us? If it were that easy, I would have done it already. Uh. Well, what if I give it a shot? I'm not half bad at handling negotiations, you know. Mm. Let's take a walk, shall we? Hey. Want to see the state of this country and how we're being treated with your own eyes? Yeah, I've been wondering about that, too. It'd help uh, to learn as much as possible. Okay. That's true. We might even find a way for us to help Thank out. You. Thank you. It means a lot to hear you say that. No, well, hey, 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 are you sure this is safe for us to go outside? Ah. Oh, please, it's fine. I'll protect you if anything happens. Besides, sitting around waiting and waiting for a report to come in is such a waste of time. Let's go. Come on now. Now that that's been decided, we should get moving. Find peaceful resolution. Ah. We've gotten intel about the enemy's next move. At this very moment, the majority of Marie's army is being summoned to the castle. Hmm. Oh, great. What are they plotting now? Well, in the past, Marie's army has peri periodically come to capture citizens en masse. Up till now, we've always been blindsided. But this time, we know that what's coming. Seriously? What they do to those they capture? Put them in jail? If they're lucky. Most end up becoming Marie's slaves. But this time, I want to take down Marie, Marie's army before they're caught. Say. Hold on a second. Don't tell me you intend to charge in there without a plan. Without a proper strategy, we're the ones who end up getting caught. Fair enough. I'm sure the appearance of the Phantom Thieves has Marie's army on alert. On the other hand, all of her soldiers are gathered in the castle right now. Which means... Oh, I get it. 
We strike now before they can get into position, right? But but wouldn't that also be a gamble? There's too much risk involved. This might be our only chance. We don't have time to wait and see how things go. So despite the risk, I must ask for your help. Will you fight beside me? You betcha. I'm all in. I need to get my revenge for having my brain meddled with after all. <laughs> me too. I want to return the favor for saving us. I'm worried about the rest of the gang, but these seem like ex extraordinary circumstances. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. We'll take down Marie's army together. Allow me to give a small disclaimer before I go. I will not be of any help in battle. No worries. I didn't expect anything from you to begin with. What? God, you had to put it like that. Dude, stop sounding like such a wet noodle and maybe. Anyway, at the very least, I can handle procuring help if you are all in danger. What? Just who are you going to get help from? Well, that's... <laughs> Uh, one moment. That looks like Saribot has already done it. Okay, let's just say you stay back and watch from afar. That's really all we need you for. Fine. Now, time to commence our mission. First, we'll sneak into Marie's castle and launch a surprise attack. Let's go. We'll move out once everyone is ready. Woohoo! Oh. Pulsing guns. Oh, interesting. Curious. And obviously a navigator. So Ren isn't required. But luckily the Phantom Thieves all level together. On and on a slow. Failed to win in two turns. Grind up any citizens that you find and take them to the castle. Leave no stone unturned. If they resist, beat them to within an inch of their life. Then they'll listen. Oh, I can't wait to hear them scream. <laughs> That's enough. You won't get away with this anymore. Where did you all come from? Damn it. Go call for reinforcements. Right. Uh-oh. Better finish them off before the reinforcements come. Go get them, guys. Okay. All right. Just leave it to me. Here we go. Catch everyone. Last one of them. Isn't this a bit too easy? Keep your guard up. Ah! <laughs> 
Okay. I have an idea for this fight. I just need to see if I can do it. Like that. No turns. Yes, it, Saribot does talk back. It's wonderful. I love Saribot. It's a good bot. Goodness. They're out in force tonight, aren't they? Time to get serious. Damn. 
be a breeze. Whip them into shape. Leave it to me. No, well, well, they're all dead. Never mind. Yeah, she hits hard. Now for the next one. <laughs> all right, Operation Surprise Attack was a huge success. Felt good to move around and release all that pent up tension. I could go for another round. It really is something. The leather, that leather suit. What was that? No, well, uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. I just can't believe you guys actually won. Your powers never cease to amaze me. Well, it's not exactly our first rodeo. We've had our fair share of epic battles. Even so, Marie's army has a thirst for violence unlike anything I've seen before. We were fortunate this time, but we may not always be so lucky. Her army does not seem to like, uh, one to be peacefully reasoned with. That's true. But these people have no one else to save them right now. That's why it's up to us to fight for change. Hmm. With you all by our side, I know we can make a difference. That's why it's essential I take action out in the open like this. Before, it was hard for me to act alone because I was being pursued. Don't worry, we got you. We'll follow you to the depths of hell. <laughs> At least that's what Joker said. <laughs> I, I love how sassy Futapa looks in this. <laughs> Thank you. Should we head back then? Enough chatter. We should head back to the hideout for now. We don't want to deal with any reinforcements. Right. Agreed. Let us retreat, and quickly. I have our escape route. This way. Oh. Dang, he's fast. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice. There they are. Yeah, that's what I thought she had was a... Um... Machine pistol. Oh, there we are. Those aren't the only ones, right? Let's see, 76, or 79 is where Raul hides. Thanatos. Asterius. Tsukiyomi Picaro. Heat riser. Yeah, let's go all the way down. No, 
climb up and see what each one's special is. Kind of a shame that, yeah, here's where they did some of the assets, like, swapping and loading, which is fine. Because, again, that way then they don't have to do additional models. Please read this. Ah, uh, Diaharan. That is a great ability, but... That's awful expensive right now. Please read this. Agudine. Yeah, again, hits like a truck, but... Please read this. Okay. Please read this. I like the Please passive ones for now. might be a good one to get because yeah auto auto mataru or mataru kaja that's that's a good start i love anything auto please read this Ooh, triumphant cheer is also very useful ruthless Please yeah. Read this. Yeah, and the fact that Raul has Heat Riser, that's pretty nice. Please read this. Ooh, regenerate three. That's HP at the end of each turn. Please read this. Surprise, surprise, that, uh... Yeah, Goddess Embrace, that... <laughs> that might be the one I ended up doing, because... As much as I love dear Raul... But he does have Heat Riser, which is nice, but... Slap Thanatos Picado on on. Please read this. You wish to with one moment, please. Are you finished? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? you like to do which persona will you choose what would you like to do which persona will you choose there we go what would you like to what would you like to do you wish to dismantle a weapon which weapon will you choose ah oh, so that's one way one way we can get money back Ooh. are you finished Well then, have a pleasant day. 
Yeah, I think we'll do that so we can... Because we can only have three people in the field at a time. But, yeah, we do have skills to do now. Let's start with Futapa's. So she's got 44, but... She doesn't have enough for anything yet. So soon, soon. Because I would, I would like to get that, because again, getting SP back will be really helpful. Um, she's got 14. Close, but not close enough for what I want. Oh, jeez, right. She can already get Femme Fatale, too. I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. We sure have a lot. Come back again later. I've got some new products available. Please take your time. Would you like? Come back soon. All right. Well, well, with all that situated, then we can continue on into our missions. little stretch thank you keep up the good work and stay safe out there yes captain and good luck to you as well man everyone we've got some new intel we've spotted two people wearing outfits similar to yours in the vicinity of marie's armory they were described as a loud rowdy blonde boy and a terrifying axe wielding woman sound like people you know <laughs> oh no. They're two of our friends, Ryuji and Haru. We should come up with a way to rescue them. Odds are, Marie still got them both under her control. We probably won't get away with charging the armory head on. It is, in fact, a very important stronghold for the enemy. <laughs> much more heavily guarded. Uh, not too much. I was just doing some side quest stuff and everything. That isn't all. There's also a rather complex system of security gates throughout the armory. It'd be all too easy to wind up lost and captured. Ah, you sound like an expert on the place. I wouldn't go that far, but I was taken there for a while after I was captured. Maybe they were replenishing their supplies. Whatever it was, I distinctly remember being brought into the armory. I can say, without a doubt, that you'd never make it through there. We should wait for a better opportunity. <laughs> Shut up, Toshiro. Those are simply the facts. Does he have to be so smug about it? Hmm. That definitely sounds like a real challenge for us. How do you phantom thieves feel about it? Ha! We don't throw in the towel that easily. Our friends' lives are on the line here. We're taking this mission. Mona said it. We're not gonna sit around just because a little danger is involved. 
It's way too early for us to drop this quest. Maybe we'll find a key item along the way. Hmm. I can say, without a doubt, that you'd never make it through there. We should wait for a better opportunity. Those are simply the facts. Did you really think we just didn't hear you the first time? I'm glad you phantom thieves see things my way. I'm right there with you. I can't just give up on them now. Hang on, you agree with them? After what happened at the prison, there's no way that place will be safe. How is it acceptable to bring a group of children there? I, I understand that, but... Shut up, Toshiro. <laughs> Congratulations, Toshiro. You have now taken Ryuji's spot. You're the idiot. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the rest of us are unanimous. We're taking this mission. Feel free to wait here if you don't feel like joining us. Uh, as a responsible adult, I could never let minors wander off into danger alone. Fine then. If it's to help your friends, I'll accompany you. Uh, we appreciate the offer, but... Can you even fight? Of course I can't fight. However, I can guide you all through the base. You can? As I said before, I've already been inside the armory. Not only do I know the general interior layout, but I kept mental note of the gates of fighter security. <laughs> oh, that's something. <laughs> I even eavesdropped on every guard's conversation. I have a great deal of experience in listening to others. Real proud of that one, huh? Listen, nothing we do will make our mission any less dangerous. If you get even the remote sense that we're in trouble, retreat to the hideout immediately. Promise? Oh? Pulsing guns. The revolution. Oof, okay. Easy and with those stronger personas, I should be okay. I must pass through this uh, through here to enter the armory. However, I doubt getting past will be a simple matter. There are those elevated platforms over there, because your routes of attack are quite limited. What if we climb them? That we can get through if we jumped across. Climbed up. What now? Great idea. The enemy will have a hard time fighting back if we're above them. A moment. Do you really believe I can handle a circus like that by myself? Hmm. Well, no, not really. Guys, be sure to give Toshiro some support, okay? Ah. No problem. I'll take the lead and secure a safe path for Toshiro. R right. I'm sure you'll do your very best to protect me. You'll do your very best to protect me, right? Uh. And now he's repeating himself. All right, everybody. Be sure to take good care of him. <laughs> I must have. Right, now that thing is going to counter. Hmm. My legs won't stop shaking. Here I go. Leave it to me. Right, I, I forgot to switch one character out, though. I, no offense to Erina, but I need... Let's 
sorry, Arena. Gone. Right, they're gonna hit a lot harder right now, day two. The DLC. Oh shit. Oh well that's good to know. Fuck. Whoops. Isn't there a way to escape?
my turn? All right. Ah. Get ready. Isn't there a way to escape now? Let's do it. Mm. Yeah, we'll we'll get the big guy out of the way. Isn't there a way to escape? What to do here? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you try to hurt him? Um, ah, Toshiro, useless. Ooh, silky. Good. All right, that takes care of them. Not that I expected to, but I still haven't picked up their readings. I can imagine Marie would have them guarding the deepest part of the armory. I'd say we have our work cut out for us. Allow me to lead the way. Your job is to protect me at all costs. Why do you wear one glove, sir? Okay, okay, we will. Even with Toshiro helping, we won't be able to avoid every single guard. Everybody, tread really lightly. I have a feeling he's going to eventually get a persona once he, you know, grows a spine. Yeah, until Irina gets her ability. Shit, Morgana. Five 
There we go. Oh, cool. If, if I have personas that are already on the field, they get experience gain instead. That's nice. Gives me more reason to fuse. Last enemy eliminated. We're making great progress thanks to you, Toshiro. Well done. Huh. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll guide you all to safety, no matter what it takes. Not only that, I've also devised a surefire escape route. I recommend we test as a group immediately. Well, since we don't want to lose our best fighters and com compromise our forces, you'll have to go back on your own. Follow me. We continue the advance. Hmm. This guy is such an open book. Yeah, he's such a coward. <laughs> Seriously. Well, we'd better keep moving. Such a baby. This room seems to be the end. Guess we made it. I'm picking up two readings nearby. Are they hiding in here? Oh, I swear. They pop up like... Oh, ha, 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 ha. I don't know what I'll do. Yeah, I could really do without that. <laughs> I love Mona's just dejected animation they did for him here. It's just so... It's so good. <laughs> I just noticed Skull has steel nipples. How would have I noticed that only now in the third game? <laughs> All right, who gave him bat nipples? <laughs> oh, I might be aging myself again there. <laughs> oh dear. Remember what we learned from fighting Panther and Oracle? That flag is what, what's making Skull and Noir act like, uh, not act like themselves. So then our target is the flag. We have to snap them out of it quick. Marie's Phantom Thieves always have resist status and cannot be downed due to the ruler's influence. 
However, you can still knock them out by depleting their HP. At that point, it will take two full turns for them to be revived. Okay. Destruction of target confirmed. Now Erina just needs to plant the flag. Well, that wasn't so bad. That's fun. They at least allow you to do that, which is nice of just getting to. You little brats! Arena, now! I'm on it! What? That stuff again? Stop her at once! Hey, this! <sighs> Arena! I'm alright! Here we go! Unruly, insignificant brats! I'm going to make you regret this all too soon! You'll see. Uh. We did it! Oh, they're back to normal, right? Looks like they're just conked out. No injuries to speak of either. Ah, uh, good. You're always so passionate about running away. I'll go ahead and take care of the exit route. Everyone got their safety, buddy? Finally, time to get out of here. And there we go, another two saved. Now we just need to save uh, Makoto and Fox. Looks like we're in the clear. I must have given up pursuit. Are your two friends okay? Yeah, thanks. They woke up just a couple minutes ago. On and the others filled us in on what happened. So your arena sounds like you've been a huge help to us here. The feeling's mutual. The Phantom Thieves have really turned things around for the Rebel Corps. <laughs> if everyone else is pulling their weight, sounds like I'd better start too. Ah, uh, good. Good over you, G. <laughs> I'm looking forward to contributing as well. It's a pleasure to join you. Although, a 
Has anyone else noticed if their throat's awfully sore since coming here? Yeah, it's real weird. It's like I've been hollering all day or something. Yes, I can imagine your throats would be sore after all the horrid laughing you were at. Ah, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> like, uh, the air here is so much drier than back home. <laughs> Haven't you noticed, guys? Yep, Lady On's right. That settles it. Huh? Um, okay. <laughs> Why do I feel like I want to know what happened, but also not know? Yeah, that's... I think that's normal. <laughs> Alright, let's get them a couple strong personas. And a new quest too. Excellent. Um, first this velvet room. <laughs> Give everybody an overpowered sub persona because it'll just be helpful. Uh, let's fuse a couple though to start. Now then, make your decision. Please wait just a moment. <laughs> My question is do critical failures happen here too? Uh, I spoke too soon. Oh no. Lavenza, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'll take that. One moment, please. What would you like to do? Would you like to look at the Persona Com- And please, take a look. Please read this. I feel like that would be good for Ryuji. I see him getting hurt a lot. And probably Raul, hilariously. Well, let's see what other... Please read this. I guess everybody else I think was like... High power attacks. Please read this. Please read this. Actually, it might end up being Izanagi Picado. Goes passives. Please read this. Please read. You wish to with one moment, please. Please, if you wish to wait one moment, please. Are you finished? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would what would you like to do? Until next time. There we go. Got 
some new products available. Please, take your time. Make sure you're well prepared. Well, I could get those. Let's soon. see what... Mmm, Picado series stuff. She's so close, she just needs to get to 50 and she can get a good skill. I guess I should look at everybody else's skills, see if they have something. Oh, Morgana can finally get a healing skill. Same for Arena. Emergency support. Right, On doesn't have a healing in this, does she? Oh, that's actually really clever. Okay, so I can unequip and re-equip at any time. Probably for him right now. We'll just do the standards. Standard combo for the both of them. getting there. We're steadily getting there, but we do have a quest. What should we choose? Come back again later. Let's see. I'm going to talk to Yeah, I'm going to do these two talks and then we'll go on to uh, doing that side quest. So I heard bits and pieces of pieces of what's going on earlier. Man, my head is still in a fog or something. What was it like when Maria had you under her control? Didn't seem like you were entirely gone. My memory's still hazy from then. It was like when you struggled to tell whether you're dreaming or in reality. It was almost as if I wasn't really me. That awful chick's voice kept ringing through my head. I just couldn't fight it. Mm. Makes sense to me. That's sort of Maria's thing subjugating people, even if she has to do it against their will. That's exactly what Marie is doing to this country. Thank goodness. The last fight reminded me of how glad I am that you guys are on our side. Haru is cra crazy powerful as usual, and Ryuji is ridiculously tough. Hey, who are you calling ridiculous? Watch it, or Captain Kid will serve us up some fried cat. I am not a cat, and I dare you to even try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back to their way. <laughs> you guys have some real chemistry, don't you? And your personas are really incredible. I really, I still can't believe it when I see them. Everyone has their own unique powers. It's so fascinating. <laughs> you haven't seen the half of what Captain Kid's capable of. Plus, I've got plenty of stamina, so I got no problem serving decoy duty or whatever. I may not be as agile as Ryuji, but my lady's powers let me hold my own. <laughs> Oh, and I'm pretty decent with a firearm, too. I always loved the feeling of landing a solid shot. 
<laughs> yes, Ryuji, feel the fear. Feel the fear of of Haru with the, an M35 grenade launcher. <laughs> well, I look forward to fighting alongside both of you. <laughs> it's a real turn of fortune to have a couple fighters as strong as you helping the Rebel Corps. Now I just need to think of our next move. I'll send some scouts out now. Let's see if they come back with any useful intel. Yeah, because this also gets us additional GP, which I could very much use. See, progressing the story, it gives you things. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you think we can consider the Leblon in this world to be a safe room? Ah. I believe so. We're not totally sure how it works, but we do know that enemies won't appear in here, at least. What's a safe room? In the cognitive world, there are certain spots where distortion is at a minimum, making these spots the safest ones available. Mm. The cognitive world. Is this the metaphors you described before? I believe you said it's a world of the human mind, built from one's cognition. Oh. Yep, nailed it. You catch on quick. To be honest, I grasp the theory behind it, but it's much harder to accept as reality. Yes, that's it. Same. When I first ha heard about it, I was beyond shocked. Wasn't I? No. I think you actually accepted it pretty quickly, Arena. <laughs> well, I try not to let details get to me. That's just how I've always been. I wish I could do the same whenever convenient. Ah, uh, he's a painful realist. But seeing how we're inside the metaverse at this very moment, I have no choice but to accept your claims as factual. At the very least, I have witnessed your outfits magically changing at the blink of an eye. That's exactly right. Who wouldn't be? Mm -hmm. Honestly, even now I sometimes catch myself wondering if this is all just some sort of simulation. I've barely gotten used to talking e I'm, <laughs> Excuse me, a talking cat. Hey. Oh, Toshiro, you say that now. Wait till we get back to the real world. Since you've interacted with him in the cognitive, he's still gonna be able to talk. <laughs> And he will be a real cat that, at that point. Oh, sorry, Bot failed that one. Give me a second. Yep, I see. For some reason. There we go. Sorry, Bot didn't catch that one. Yeah, usually Sorry, Bot catches them, so I don't know why. Suppose the big issue now is figuring out why we were sucked into this world in the first place. Hmm. It's also strange how the hideout here is basically Leblon. I wonder why that would be the case. Fair, when you threw shrimp, I was guessing that. Um, no, that shouldn't have disrupted Sari. Let's see, one moment, I'm gonna do a test. Okay, Sari is still here. For some reason, I got through its filter. Weird. I don't know anything about all that stuff. One thing's for sure. Oh. <laughs> so cozy in here. I'm starting to forget we're actually stuck in the metaverse. Well, don't forget something important like that. Okay... Let's... Oh, HP. There we go.
Now I should have a quest. All right. So now there's All right. This is the one. Okay, so we do this one and then Hmm. I've returned with a report. A room has been discovered where Body Ace Army has been hiding. Very important documents are rumored to be inside. Hmm? Important documents? Could that include the Army's deployment locations and other internal details? It would definitely put us at an advantage if we had those. I'd say it's worth looking into. Okay. Unfortunately, one of their bases is located near this room, making it quite dangerous to get to. Hmm. So even if we manage to sneak, sneak in, we might get overwhelmed by enemies before we can get to the documents. I wonder if there's a way to get them, uh, get to them before they get to us. Sounds good. Right. We'll stop them before they can call for reinforcements. We can stall them, and Irina can use the opportunity to slip inside undetected. What do you think? Ah, so I'll steal the documents from that room while you keep them distracted. <laughs> I like that idea. Let's commence immediately. I'll lead the way. You give the orders, Ren. I don't know how to feel about these pulsing guns still. <laughs> yeah, that's a fitting combo. Yeah, because she's wielding what I would equate to as, um... I get it. I could have done that from down there. Because I'm guessing it's just getting Arena to the end. Yeah, I think I need to be more efficient with my movements. So let's see if I can do that.
going, Arena. Nice cover. Whip them into shape. I'll show you. Yeah, I see what I needed to do. Joker, we're out of time. Okay. Awake, arise, or be forever fallen. Oof. I know what I need to do. I see. I see how to do it. Ah, it's a balancing act. That suddenly all makes sense.
what you got. There we go. I think I need. I think I see what I have to do. And it's, hmm. And she's in. Yeehaw. That's kind of cool. And so the side quests are kind of like challenge stages. That's our destination. Woo, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just because Joker's orders were so easy to follow. Alrighty, time to get our hands on these important documents then. Let's go. This room is a mess. How are we supposed to find anything in here? Wait, what's that on the floor? It says confidential, super important on the cover. What? That's where they decided to hide it? Someone ought to be fired. Well, better for us, I guess. What does it say? Um, never get on her nerves. The ultimate guide to appeasing Lady Marie. What? Magic tricks are forbidden as entertainment. She'll lose it if she can't figure it out, out how something works. Mm. Who doesn't like magic? Is it really all it says? Let me see that. Let's see, curve your back a little when you're being uh, Lady Marie's chair. It's uh, important to create a snug fit. Uh, okay. Yeah. Even if they are our enemies, no one should have to be a chair. Listen, human furniture is a fun kink for some people. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I'm I'm really there for it as the furniture, and I'd be a little worried if I were the uh, sitter. That uh, just means stealing something like this. Oh wait, that means... This information is totally useless. 
Well, technically, this is a super important document for Mari's army, so... <sighs> At least we know what we uh, <laughs> that we work well together. That's true. That's true. Successfully pulling off that strategy was huge. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep our fighting spare time. Say, and we get special points for each of the characters. Well, for two of the characters. And then, Arena. Better jot that down. All right. We'll probably do all the talking parts here. Oh yeah, I'm I'm doing fine. Just uh Excuse me, Captain! I have an emergency report! <laughs> alright, alright, I'll hydrate. I'm pulling a hat gone halfway through my monster tonight. By all appearances, Marie is finally ready to hold the wedding she's been planning. Apparently, she's arranged for a giant cake to be prepared in the center of the city plaza! Thank you for bringing me that report. I'll be sure to spread the news. A giant cake? Oh, like a wedding cake? Mario uh, just keeps pissing me off more and more with a BS. I'm so glad that Ryuji's still allowed to swear and be foul mouthed, because at first I thought it's like, oh, are they gonna keep this more friendly? But it's like, no, he's he's still being Ryuji, which is good. Say, what do you think may have happened to make her want to hold her wedding now? If all she wants is a ceremony, she'd have no trouble getting one arranged whenever she pleased. According to past reports, Marie struggled to find someone she deemed worthy enough to marry. I have no idea what's taken her so long, but it sounds like she may have finally found someone to put through the ceremony. Oh god, it's not Fox, is it? Am I the only one who thinks putting together a wedding before having someone to marry is weird? So the report's indicating she's about to marry someone? That is correct, then. Her new partner will be at the ceremony in person. All we know of him so far is he's a handsome man with dark hair and piercing eyes. That could be Fox. Hey, could that be? Yes, that definitely describes you, Skin. Oh no. Well, I guess he is the looker out of us guys. <laughs> at least they admit that, yeah, he is the prettiest of the three. <laughs> Ryuji is obviously the punk, and Ren is... Well, he's relatively neutral just because of kind of being the... How is he getting married to such a god-awful person? I can't speak for Marie, but something tells me she isn't actually taking your friend's desires into account. Marie and her ceremony can go to hell. We have to rescue Yusuke before it's too late. Yes. In fact, this could be just the chance we need. If we know Marie and your remaining comrades are going to be at the plaza. And we get to rescue our friends and put our boots to Marie's ass at the same time. <laughs> Hang on a moment. I understand why you want to attack, but you're being entirely too hasty. Shut up, Toshiro. Don't you think Marie would see this opportunity to set a trap for us? That is probably true. Even if we absolutely must go, we should at least prioritize our comrades. Imagine marching right up to the enemy commander. We never said we were planning to do anything like that. We just know there might be a fight waiting for us. I understand that as well. But there's a difference between bravery and recklessness. Yes, it's a thin line. Looking at you all, I get a very uneasy feeling about this. It's 
fine. I think you made a good point there, if I'm honest. But even still, there are some things in this world you just gotta stand up to. That's how I... It's how all of us learned to move on. <sighs> Yet you're going to do it anyway, despite knowing it's irrational? Fuck rationality. I just cannot comprehend the way you kids think. However, I should apologize for taking over the conversation like that. I am not opposed to conducting a rescue operation. I will accompany you and offer any aid as needed. Nice! Then let's get out of here and crash this shitty wedding! <laughs> let's crash this shitty wedding! <laughs> and this is a shotgun wedding that we do not enjoy. Though the question is... Do we go into this next fight, or do we hold off? Because we do have 20 minutes until the five hour mark. As I would like to save Yusuke and hopefully Makoto. Probably not in that order, the other way around. No offense to Matt. I love Matt Mercer's voice for this, but... Uh, for Yusuke, but... Makoto's more important. Sure, Serana, if she's still here, would agree. <laughs> Save the girls. <laughs> mm. God, that is tempting. It's like I've already equipped them with their Picaro weapons, right? Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, fuck it. 20 minutes, that's enough time. We'll, we'll get through all this. If we go a little later, we go a little later. And then I can munch on food afterward. focusing on the end result. If you'd been struck in a more vital area, you could have easily lost your life. I understand that each of you have been following your heart to fight for what you believe is right. Your behavior isn't condemnable. However, I cannot approve either. I recognize that you've all been very capable of carrying out your missions with your lives on the line. But all it takes is one slip, and it's over. Your goals, your ideals, lost forever. I just felt I should point this out as the adult. I know as long as I fight, wounds like these are unavoidable. Still, I can't let my fear control me. Doing nothing won't help. The only thing I can say for sure is... I'm really scared. I'm scared that we're entering a world where corruption is free to flourish. And even worse, I'm scared of becoming someone who's okay with that. So I fight, because I refuse to give up and turn a blind eye to the injustices in my world. Not only that, you said it only takes one slip-up for everything to be lost. But getting hurt, or suffering through hard times, those don't mean it's all over. And that means... When you follow your beliefs long enough, you're bound to meet others willing to fight by your side. And when something's impossible by yourself, you can trust your comrades to help you. When you think of it that way, it takes a lot more than one setback for it all to become meaningless. And the Rebel Corps will carry on the fight in the name of our lost comrades! Hmm, that we will. Oh, and don't worry about me endangering myself. I hate getting hurt. You're a coward, Toshiro. Ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, foolish boy. He claims to be an adult, but... Nothing to report. Good, let's resume patrol. But Aww. he's the most childish of the group. Man, this security is tight here. Mar Marie must be on high alert. Mm. Once we get through here, it's just a bit further to the plaza. So, 
Well, I say we take the long way around to be safe. Haste makes waste, as they say. Not exactly. That's not an option. We don't know when their friends will show up at the plaza. So it's more like make haste than make waste. Then count me in. Sure. Let's kick it into high gear. That's it, then. Looks like we're rushing the point. Come on, Joker. Now the question is, who do I take into this fight? Hmm. Through here and we'll be at town square just take out the enemies right i love it when things are simple looks like they're hardening up their defenses though be careful of your positioning Here 
hat 10. There we go. Finally, now for the next one. All right. Yeah, we'll get through this story thing and then we'll we'll come to a pause. Pause is just up ahead. Let's move. Ah. Alright, everyone. Follow Arena's lead. Hey, wait. Taking off like that can make your calves scare up. If we don't stretch properly before exerting that much effort, we even run the risk of straining our backs. Ah. Hang on. You're actually ditching me. Well, dude, yeah, they're all ready and limber. You're the one that's out. We've gotten this far without any real problems, but... <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> oh, you acquired the grandpa. <laughs> the grandpa title. You've taken it from uh, Zinkichi. I admit you're very skilled at your maneuver. <laughs> Also, just pulling a snack out. But if you think of the less athletically gifted present, I would appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, brother. I will accompany you and offer any aid as needed. Those were your exact words, right? What of it? Athletics aren't my area of expertise. My strong suits are, let's see. Arranging ceasefire deals, petitioning for reduced sentences, other negotiation demands. Hey, enough from your resume for now. They're about to start working on the cake. Now that you say that, why would they choose to make a cake here? They can't be planning to... What? Don't take my friends from me again. made of people why even go through the effort for something so horrible yeah it wouldn't do us any good to know why they're such sick bastards treating people like that it's inexcusable yeah <laughs> adjusting in my seat real quick well now it sounds like, like you think i consider them people <sighs> seeing the looks on your faces it seems you didn't know you were expected. I have considered naming all of you the guests of honor for my ceremony. But instead, I think I'll make you the entertainment. Soon, you'll experience the celebration up close and personally. After I've taken back my groom, that is. Taken back? Wait, Fox isn't a groom? What gives? Didn't you abduct our friend over there to marry him? What? Why would you think I'd ever settle for some inconsequential dirt or brat? There is but one fitting suitor here. Toshiro Kasukabe is destined to be mine. Oh dear. You, you're marrying me? Have you forgotten our arrangement? Or... Perhaps you're not remembering on purpose. So this is the first... the first palace, so to speak. 
Whatever the case, you have no choice but to stand at my side. Forever! Ah. Sorry about that. For a moment, I felt... What the hell is going on? Let's try to figure it out later. We should focus on Makuchan and the others for now. Right! We don't have a chance against them if we hold back. Lay into it and keep your guard up. It's true, these are the two heavy hitters. Like, Ryuji is tough, he's a tank. But Makoto and Yusuke, they hit like trucks. <laughs> or at least they did during my playthroughs. Alright, let's get them back. Better get ready. Take your hands. I'll beat you to a pulp. Make them toppings for my cake. Oh boy. She's going to fist us. Expected. There's a flag here. I've got to destroy it. Hey. hey, is that how we acted when we were brainwashed? I'm starting to feel embarrassed. <laughs> I wonder if a skill, if skull had that signature laugh too. Uh, anyway, let's go. <laughs> Be careful of Foxy Queen defending the area. Yeah. Here I go. Oh man, enemy reinforcements! Now it's my turn! I'm a 
Oh boy. Hi, Makoto. No, you're hot, I know! Luckily, we usually can take a good hit. Thank you for the moral support. What to do here? It's over. There we go. <laughs> Get all my friends back. My one machine did it. We've almost broken through. Everyone, just one more push. This ends now. Something, Arena. Sorry, you need to pick up that flag. Okay. Hey, answer me. Mm. For Lady Marie, for Lady Marie, stamp out every traitor, wipe their existence from this kingdom. Oh, shit, it's getting worse. You have to... 
Finish it. I have to. Say that. You know I can't. I'm not like you. I know. You can do it. It's just like before. <laughs> you must be getting delirious from the blood loss if you think that man's capable of anything on his own. He is nothing without my control. She's right. I can't help it all. How I feel. Damn it. I'll do it. This, this is the end! We're not making it out of this one alive! Don't give up yet! We can still prevail! Toshiro? We can't let this one setback make our efforts meaningless! Stand and fight! What, what was, was that? that? You insult! Don't, don't just stand there! Stop him this instant! No one who defies Lady Maria shall be left alive! Oh, look at that! Toshiro finally found his guts! We should pull our weight, too! Everyone, ready for one last push? You don't even have to ask. I'm just getting started. Wish me luck. Oh, traitor! Another step and you're through! I'm... not done! Let's ruin her wedding in foam. <laughs> How about that? I actually did it. <sighs> Whoop, looks like the adrenaline finally ran out. Hey, how's everyone else holding up? Irina's unconscious but holding up. Same goes for Fox and Queen. <laughs> we actually win? How magnificent! Looks like we really did pull it off. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. Take the cake with us. Tough one. We can't go through another round now. Wait, what's that sound? Oh boy. Who's the ruler of this land? And having your lives in my hands? I just call it every day! That? Right. Oh man, this sucks so hard. I poured my heart and soul into preparing the ceremony, and look what you've done to me. On any other day, I'd drag you from the back of my carriage through every street in my kingdom until nothing was left. But that might be too much. After all, you're nothing but some stupid children. Who's kids? <laughs> Uh, I don't even have the strength for banter. I admit, I didn't expect you all to put together such a resistance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in the end, you were still ground down to nothing. Just look at the state of you. How fortunate. It's almost as if my fiancé was destined to be here for our ceremony. Oh, hell, what do we do? Even if we were treated, I don't know how we can save Arena and the other rebels, too. But we can't fight anymore, either. You mean by yourself? That's just insane. Yeah. There's no way you'd make it through that. All right. Time for the brats to face their punishment. <laughs> what could make today even better? Aha! Uh -huh. I've got the most delightful idea! <laughs> yes. First, I'll... What? The time's come to pay back our debt! Please, take the captain and retreat! Rebel Corps, charge! Open a path for their escape! The Swarmlings! Oh. 
<laughs> Swarm of little hatlings. Thank you, guys. We can afford to deal with these enemies now. Just try to get around them. Now it's my turn. Hmm? Hmm? I don't think I've seen that kind of enemy before. Oh, whoa. Looks like they're carrying drums. What the heck could they pl be planning to do with those? Yeah, they don't seem that tough. But, but we know what they might have hiding up their sleeves. Be careful and let's break through. Yeah, hopefully we can get back to them. Yeah, they can heal.
Better get ready. Don't move now! Those shots are right on target! What to do here? Oh, that's rad! Get out of here. That's all we do. to get away Ugh. man this guy weighs a ton but just look at him sleeping like a little baby uh, he's even drooling like one For real? What? oh gross <laughs> where am I oh. all right the flag is everyone okay huh Joker thank goodness you're awake you the rebel corps made sure we were able to get away safely all right, let's get in the hideout. The others need their rest, too. Once we've settled in, we can figure out our next course of action. All right, yeah, once once we can get to this, exactly this, I was looking for exactly this, we can, we can save, and then uh, we will call it there. So let me hop back here, because this is going to silence on us. So there's that. And with that, let's find somebody we can go out and raid, huh? Let's see. And VTuber, please. Let's see. Who should we go after? You know, I think I'm going to send you over to Mocha. Let's see what she's... What is she playing? Ah, oh, she's playing Monster Hunter World. Okay, that'll be fun. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna send you over her way because yeah. We love Monster Hunter. Is that a new model or a new PNG tuber she made? I don't remember her tits being nearly that big. <laughs> oh my. 
<laughs> but yes, thank you all so much for joining me tonight. And uh, yeah, this is an interesting game. Um, but yeah, with that said, though, we'll, we'll be back to this again on Friday. And uh, be sure to give Mocha lots and lots and lots of love, okay? So, so we're going to send you over that way. And I'm going to then chat out on this dongo that's in front of me and maybe a, a moon cake while we're at it. <laughs> All right. Have a great night, everybody. See you. <laughs> and to all of you on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next VOD. Night-night. <laughs>